what is going on, folks? We're back after our long, illustrious break uh, with a brand new Morphin Medicast. How is it going, Prime? We kept you waiting, Amon for all lines. <laughs> yes, we did. We kept the waiting. You know, sometimes you need a much needed vacation. You know, San Diego Comic Con, Blurcon, Otacon, all that stuff just kind of hame. And, you know, sometimes you need a break. Must, must be nice. My ass is at work. Yeah, but you know, also, Prime, you know, we, we, as with everything that happens when we do more for Medicast, there's always that nice, juicy news. And there was a lot of shit that kind of went down. Um, some that happened at San Diego that I had to hear from the horse's mouth that actually ended up becoming fully realized this week. And I laughed so hard. Um, and others, uh, like I said, good and also bad. But as the title of this is, What the Fuck Has, Bro? Yeah, um, Power Rangers is hitting a crossroads right now. Um, and uh, if you've been following this show, me and Prime have talked that length to varying degrees of those crossroads. Uh, Prime was Prime was, you know, one of many people that when Hasbro bought Power Rangers, that was telling folks to trade carefully. Pretty much, they called, they called me a madman. <laughs> I don't know why they called you guys a madman because I watched you guys talk at length about Hasbro botching Transformers, so I was definitely understandable. I had optimism, but I understood. Um. And, uh, you know, throughout their bumps in the road, we held our optimism that Hasbro could turn around. And then I would probably say the last few years, maybe three years, it's been just what the fuck, you know, and yeah. Um, and I, you know what? And to be fair, I wouldn't even call this a fumbling of the bag because to fumble the bag would mean that you would actually have to give a shit about the bag. I feel like this was them business as usual. Like this might have been the plan the entire time. What the tank power rangers? Yeah. Yeah. But why but but the tank implies that like it was making well, I mean, it was always gonna make money anyway, but like what was the what's the end game to tank power rangers? To get more market share, they wanted to take band one of Bandai's biggest pieces of the market off the board and get them off the shelves. But I feel Which, that that won't I mean I guess it works, maybe. I mean it what you mean it, it they succeeded. <laughs> I mean what is what is Bandai? Uh, yeah, doing? yeah. I mean yeah. I mean Bandai at this point has what Gundam and Gunpla. That's about it. They got some Gundam and Gunpla. And I'm, I'm talking about in US US stores, you all. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. US stores. Bandai is a juggernaut worldwide, but not, yeah, yeah, not yeah. here so much as more. Oh yeah, have, yeah, yeah. Because what they have really like the anime heroes toy line. Um yeah. Yeah, that's about they, it. They're putting hard in the paint in the Tamagotchi. God yeah. bless them. <laughs> they, do, they do crossovers with Marvel. They have a pretty good relationship with Marvel at times, which is actually not a bad thing to have. Mm -hmm. um, and DC too, because haven't they done some stuff? Haven't they collab with uh, DC as well? Well, yeah, you know, it's a it's a figure arts encompasses a lot of different brands, but again, that's talking about more or less the Japanese office. Hasbro was yeah, 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 going to yeah. get them off of the domestic shores. <laughs> which here's my thing. You know, we'll get to that, Brian. By the way, with Netflix Ultraman, because I finished it too. Um, so my thing is this, okay, you take them off the board. What then you're already fumbling with other stuff. So what exactly, like, you know, that, that's, if, that's my thing. It's like, if I don't have any competition, then that means I am now the trendsetter. I can dictate where and how the market moves in my command when I say so. And yet that tends to backfire at times, to be honest. And you but. think they would learn the lesson, but they never do. I mean, in time out, but I guess that's what fucking corporate greed does, whereas we don't want some of the money. We want all of the money, not realizing that by fucking up, you are losing all of the fucking money. And what fucking kills me the most about this, CJ, <laughs> is that this this company, for whatever reason, has so much goodwill with people. Like, I've seen so many people claiming that Hasbro has done more for the Power Ranger band than Brandi, and I'm oh, like, get the fuck out of here. What fucking crack are you smoking? So, so either I can Oh, aim. shit. Oh, shit. They, 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 they did more role-playing toys, okay? Like, uh, whoop, fine. Whoop fucking dudes. Oh, oh, shit. Lightning collection helmets. All right, cool. That that's that's a step in the right direction. Fine, I guess you did three more helmets than what Bandai did. Bandai did Kudos. right. Congratulations, you got an extra three helmets. <laughs> Four, if this Yellow Ranger thing ends up becoming a thing. But still, like 
<laughs> and I'm like, and I don't know, is it is it is it xenophobia? Because I don't want to say racism, CJ. It's is xenophobia, but dog, come on, it xenophobia, come on, dog. There are, people, there are people like all like we said that look, look, if Power Rangers were to stop after Cosmo Fury, hey, we still got Super Sentai and Toku Orange Fan. I right, give a we, fuck at this point. It's we, like whatever. We still good. Like I said, we eating. Eat. <laughs> we we eating. We not gonna starve now. You you motherfuckers that's like, well, I don't want to watch Super Sentai. Well, why? Because I don't watch oh, nigga, subtitles. Shit. Why? <laughs> Why don't you want to watch subtitles? Well, because say it out loud, bro. Why don't you want to watch subtitles? What's wrong with what's wrong with watching Japanese people, bro? Say Pro, it out loud, these, bro. Pro, these are the same people that watch Demon Slayer, so I'm not trying to hit their mouths on any of that. You shit. know what? That's what I'm saying. So that's what I'm trying to figure out. Like, <laughs> look, because I'm 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 really curious. I'm like, so you have no problem watching anime subtitles, but because they're people, all of a sudden now you can't follow the subtitles, you can't read and see the action. Why is that? Why is that? Say it out loud. Say it out loud. I mean, you know. Ultraman Blazar is right there with Johnny Yon Bosch dubbing it, so no excuses on that end. I'm saying, I'm saying and also Simulcast. That, sign out on that shit. Also, Bandai <laughs> is gonna try to get the Blazer stores, Blazer toys in stores uh statewide. Hope Ooh. that works out for them. Cause that 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 device looks pretty dope. I mean, I do want one, and if I get some of those soft vinyl toys, I will fucking take it. But yeah, um, it's xenophobia, bro. Come on, like let's let's, let's not beat around the bush. It is whole xenophobia. <laughs> and I mean, look, I'm trying to get the benefit of the doubt because even any time that Hasbro did some something fucking wrong, even like way worse than fucking Bandai, there would still be those people going, "Well, at least it's not Bandai when they're doing something or done things like way worse than Bandai ever done." And I'm like, I don't understand the like Bandai. There. Like Bandai, like, don't get me wrong. Yeah, Bandai Bandai's fucked, fucked up. up. A lot. <laughs> like, don't just not get the fucking game twisted. Like, but not to the extent of hash, bro. And for whatever, I'm like, look, look, guys, guys, listen. This is Prime Gundam here. You can talk to me. <laughs> if hash, bro, has your Mima trapped in the closet somewhere, <laughs> blink three times. We will co rescue her. We can't save her. Because my thing was this. Licking them. That's my thing. It's like, because my thing is this. All right, it's like, all right. So, I was in San Diego Comic Con. Hasbro was there. They were showing off. Obviously, they were showing off all their products and Power Rangers there, Lightning Collection and stuff, including the new ones with TJ and um, uh, was it Lost Galaxy Pink? Yeah, Lost Galaxy Pink and the other stuff, right? Including the v- version 2.0 of the OG MMPR crew, which I fucking hate that they did that, but whatever, right? So I asked the guy, "Hey, so um, you know, you know, you, you, when when is the Power Bow and the Power X coming out?" He was like, well, you know, as you know, it's on ice, you know, it's on ice right now because apparently they, Hasbro basically was like, we aren't going to put out the Power Axe and Power Bow unless we have something attached to it to sell it off of. You know, kind of like when you sell toys, you have to have a show attached to it, obviously, right? CJ, CJ, I want you to know. Mm -hmm. The... The fucking vitriol that was about to spill out my throat that I just had to stifle there because I was about to give the longest, loudest fucking curse you probably have ever heard in your life. So you know, we to talk- attach to po, po, let's let's hold on, let's back up. Let's back up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back, to yeah. Attach. Hash bro, who just randomly drops G.I. Joe and Star Wars toys with shit else going on. Thank you. Who fucking randomly is like, hey, you know what would be neat? Let's just drop a fucking mask anniversary pack out of the fuck blind fuck nowhere. Hash bro. I got to find still, out on social media about this shit too, by the way. <laughs> who still releases Transformers Generation 1 style merchandise saying they don't want to release anything without, if you don't get the fuck out of my face with that bullshit. And then, and then this week, or was it last week? It was this week. This week, they, they released this news that the Power Bow and Power Axe is a HasLab exclusive. Because of course it is. Of course it is. And and that's when I didn't think about it at the time when that guy told me about that because I zoned out. I kind of just zone out whenever I hear HasLab because we've talked at length about some of the stuff that they did, which again, I get the concept of a HasLab, but it feels very just like dangling the fucking carrot in people's faces and shit on you. You you do this unless you... It's like... You're doing this shit with the Power Bow and Power Axe, and I'm seeing people on Ranger Board and other places. You gotta support this, and it's like, fuck you. Don't do that. The hell I do. Let me tell you something. And it sucks because I want it just to complete it, and it's like, mm. No, 
No. And look, maybe I'm biased because I know I think I've said at length on this very show that I would never support a Hasbro Hash Lab project. And the reason I would never support one is because it's fucking grimy to me. Yeah. Um, Hasbro is not some small independent toy company, you know, building um, wood sheds out of their fucking mom's basement. Hasbro is a multi-billion dollar toy company. What they're in the business of doing is making toys. If you have a product and you think that product can succeed in the marketplace, you have the re- the means, the reach, and the funds to release it standardly. You do not need to crowdfund, bleed your fans dry to make a product like why should I? Why should we eat the operating costs for a multi-billion-dollar corporation? You can kiss my ass. Why don't you do limited release? and suck my uncle Tommy's balls? Get the fuck out of here. Do, do a limited release, like when they did that Ghost Rider in the car thing. It sounded like a neat concept, but then they were like, "Well, we need a has lab that shit." I'm like, "Why don't you just do a limited release?" Done. Again, again, Premium Bandai. They done some slimy fucking things. I would. But you, but you get where it's coming from, right? Like, look, Premium right. P Bandai. The shuffle alliance is gonna pretty much be P Bandai, right? Right. So, so it's like, all right, cool. The concept of P Bandai is fucked up because, hey, I would like to get the shuffle alliance in, on retail, but right. I, but you understand why? Because it's G Gundam. It's a little niche. It's a little risky to put it out there on retail because how many people are gonna buy it to cover? So you get it. But here's the thing, though. Premium Bandai is like, we are making this thing. Do yeah. you want one? Like they're not yeah. saying. We can only make one if you give us your money. Like we can only fund this if you guys want it enough. It's literally no, no. here's the date that we're gonna cut it off. Get your get your pre-order in right now. Get your pre-order in because we are making this regardless. We're Just get it. It's like, hey, we're gonna put the pre-order up in January. It's the pre-order is done in July. You better get right. your shit in before July. All right, cool. Fair enough. Gotcha. 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 Okay, I can get one, but not not the. Oh, we can only make this one if we have X amount of backers. Who the fuck? This is what we talk about with Boom Studios with the with the fucking premium uh, Power Ranger comics, the the, the thing and stuff, which which they course corrected to their to their credit because uh, Necessary Evil you can actually buy in stores. You didn't have to do the Kickstarter, which I was like, all right, thank you, Boom. You you fucking listened here. You gave us options now. Thank you. I appreciate that. So yeah. You said that. I mean, I mean, I'm, I'm just like I'm, I'm flabbergasted, bro. Like, what more need to be said? Yeah. So, so when I saw the Haslab thing, I'm sitting back like that shit's going to be three hundred dollars for both, and it, it it's fifty fifty if it even gets funded. And I'm just sitting back like, yo, Hasbro, why didn't why, why didn't you just do a limited release on it? Like, like you said, like P Bandai and done. I hope it That's does. it. I hope it doesn't. You know what? Because fuck this. <laughs> no. No. And I'm getting real sick and tired of this mentality that we, the fans, have to like prove that we're fans by backing or supporting clearly anti consumer ways of thinking and practices. There is no way in hell. It's, no. I refuse. Oh, bear in mind, folks, as much as we're dumb on the Hasbro, Mattel does the same bullshit too. Oh, don't get me started on Matt. That's why when that was that rumor that came out a while ago and they're talking about Hasbro and Mattel might merge, I was like, oh, God, that's not that to be a fucking nightmare. Jeez. Yeah, Mattel, 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 Mattel gets a lot of shit from the He-Man fan base for what they do to He-Man. And I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. Mattel, Mattel will be imagine? on some bullshit. Could you imagine the Gogeta two, that would be Hasman? Two, two, scumbag, two scumbag companies combining efforts. Could you imagine what Hazmat would put into the world? I'd rather not. Hey, Landro had a good had a good thing. Who would you rather have French? Who would you rather have a franchise you love? Hasbro or Harmony Gold? Harmony <laughs> Gold. <laughs> Harmony Gold. And I'll tell you. Red Harmony Gold just now finally do something with Robotech in a good way now? No. Harmony Gold, and I'll tell you why. Okay. Because at least then I know nothing will come out because they're not making it. <laughs> We would be sitting here like, so are we gonna get a Power Rangers adaptation? Harmony Gold? Nah, nah. Yeah, uh, it, we're, we're working on it. You know, we're coming out here. And, here, and, buy these and, model kits. The enjoy, enjoy them Boom Studio comics. That's all you're gonna get. Because right. <laughs> that's where Hasbro is sitting there right now. They're like, more Power Rangers on the Cosmic Fury? Nah, I don't know. Boom Studios. Well, we get look. 
Say what you will about the OC stuff that Boom Studios is doing. At least they're doing something that's progressing the fucking franchise in some way, shape, or form. At the very least, you know, if, at least if there's only something. Power Rangers, though, if yeah, only yeah. with Power Rangers. No, no, because it's like at least Boom Studios. At least you. It's like whatever you feel about some of the stuff they're doing. At least it's like okay, they at least care. If Hasbro at least did that, I would be like fine. But they can't even do that. That's the thing. It's like. You, you teamed up with Netflix, 10 episodes of Cosmic Fury, which is such a fucking slap in the face. It's like, It looks like why? it was filmed in like two weeks. And I feel bad. Okay, so here's the thing. And, and I feel bad for, for the people behind it because, you know, at the end of the day, like, those are actors and it's kind of, you know, and it's not like we're shitting on them because, you know, the big news for with, with Cosmic Fury is um, Billy is back. Which there was there was rumors there was there was rumors that a lot of stuff from Once and Always was going to carry over into Cosmic Fury and looks like it is, which cool you know I'm I'm curious to see how they go. I'm to be honest I'm really curious how they're going to do all this shit in ten episodes. I'm, I'm really curious on how they're going to do this. Let me know how that works out. Um, I mean they're going to drop it all in one hit because that's the Netflix way, which. Yeah, Netflix can blow it out their ass on that one. But, um, yeah, I, so, you know, they're in this team, which it just, I don't know, it just feels off. Like, I, I, I don't want to hate on it, but it's like I'm really just kind of curious on how this is all going to translate into an episode. And, and I'll be fascinated to hear what you think when you, yeah. when you watch it. You let me know. Because, <laughs> like... Yeah, uh, you know, which, you know what, I am kind of curious. It's like, my man got the bionic arm. I'm like, they really are going full in on this. Like, all right, see what happens, you know. So, you know, that's Kaiser Fury in a nutshell right now. But, you know, yeah, you know. And, and, the, and the thing of it is, it even carries over into the show. Like, I, I, I've fe- always felt like when they – and it happened when Saban brought it back. I, I was never, a, I get the idea of you want to capture the MMPR flavor, but like you don't have to go all full tilt on it. Even down to the music, because the Cosmic kind of Fury, the, the, the music for it, it's like, this is very good with Power Rangers. Why couldn't it just be its own thing? You know, even I, I don't, even if it was stupid, I would be like, well, at least it's its own thing. Fine. You know, but it's like, I don't, I don't get it. Maybe I'm missing something. I, you know, I don't know. I don't know. It, I mean, it. It's just I don't know, man. I really don't know. And like you said, not to shit talk on the people who who are the actors or the stunt crews or the um, people who do the costume designs and all that. But a lot of this really just, again, like it just feels so fucking soulless, man. Like. Not even like, going through the motions. It's just like, <laughs> just so fucking bland. Like n- nothing really of that sounds pleasing to me. When I when I looked when I read the synopsis, I was like, okay, so I can't wait to see them people who skimmed the first pages of Wikipedia do their fucking what they think a grand finale of a Power Rangers show would look like. Because Ten I episodes saw, of Q Ranger, Q Ranger, basically. <laughs> because I've seen what they think. A reunion special should look like, and that was fucking a mid sandwich. So I don't even. I'm not. It was competent, but yeah, in the, in the grand scheme, yeah, it was mid. In the grand scheme, it's like it did. It checked off the boxes of what you wanted out of a reunion, but it could have really been elevated. You know what? I would argue against it. I would say it checked off the boxes that it thought that it, that it thought that it should check off. Yeah. But not what necessarily what what most fans were want. Yeah. Again, like you said, it was just kind of like if, if, if a lot Rita, of like, check. <laughs> Buddies, check. check right. Uh Zach and Billy and some old people, check. It's like a juice bar fight, check. And I feel like that reunion special feels like if I had told a fucking AI to write a Power Ranger 20 year later special. 30, I'm sorry, 30 year later special. You know what, Brian? We're, we're spoiled because we've seen Super Sentai do 10 years later. You know, reunion mini movies, and they worked out very well in a way well, so that CJ, progressed the plot. The fan, you know, the thing about that is that the people who write those, they actually give a shit about the brand they're working on. Well, I, look, they actually care. Look, when and and this this is not even an apples and oranges comparison. So I don't want I don't want anybody to be saying, "Well, that's different." now. when you look at how 
Japan in that entertainment industry treats Toku, whether it's Kamen Rider, Super Sentai, Ultraman, and any of the Metal Hero stuff, they treat it like a legitimate franchise that's worth putting money behind because they know they're going to get their return on investment, right? Mm-hmm. So, like, they do stuff like Abba Range is about to have, what, a 20-year reunion uh, mm-hmm. special coming out? Bring and it's like... The actors. And, and you know, obviously new new enemies and stuff. Just and, But, you but like, would you get that here in America? Fuck no, you're not going to get... No. A, you're not going to get a 20 year Wild Force reunion. Granted, Cole ain't going to be there because he's in jail. But, like, you know, like, but, like, you're not going to get there. You're not going to get a light speed rescue reunion. I would love to see a fucking light speed rescue reunion special with the cast back, you know, and some little 45 minute thing. That would be dope. But Hasbro ain't going to do that because it ain't MNPR. And I'm like, <sighs> you have, and that's, to me, that, that really sums up how Hasbro has been handling Power Rangers. Is that like everything, like, okay, let's back it up here and look at the Lightning Collection, right? So they finished the MMPR teams, right? They finished Zeo, right? Yeah, they finished Zeo. Yes. Uh, didn't even do Turbo because TJ is the only one. And Blue and T- and TJ, T- and TJ, Blue Centurion, and Phantom Rangers, that's three. Um, in space, they finished. Space. Uh, Lost Galaxy, they finished. They did. Lightspeed, they didn't. Except they only have the was it the um, the Blue Ranger, Blue Ranger, and um, the other one, um, um, Titanium Ranger. They did Titanium. When did they do Titanium? I think they did Titanium. Unless I'm tripping. Wait, I thought they did. Did they do Blue and Yellow? I thought it was Blue and Titanium. Oh, well, I, I mean, maybe I'm tripping. I don't know. I you, know, uh, you so, could be right. You could be right because I I checked um, out. You might be right. Time Force, we got red and blue, and pink. Is the pink coming out? I think did pink come out? I don't think so. I don't think. But so. they did. But they didn't finish that season. Uh, Wild Force, they didn't finish that because it's on. They canceled board. the Red Ranger, didn't it? Yeah. Um, Ninja Storm, none for Ninja Storm. Uh, Dino Thunder, they finished, shockingly. Uh, SPD, they finished. Yeah, they finished because you have the B Squad and didn't get the main. Cat. They didn't do Cat, but I mean, technically, they kind of did finish in a way, but yeah, they didn't do Cat. Yeah, technically. Uh, no Mystic Force, no Operation Overdrive, no Jungle Fury, no RPM. Uh, they didn't do Samurai, did they? No, they didn't. No Samurai, no Mega Force, Super Mega Force. They did. Did they do the core team for Double Charge? I think they finished the core team. Wait, did they? Yeah, because they they get they get red, red, uh, pink, gold, green, black, gold, green, green, mm-hmm. pink. Yeah. Did they do blue. I think so. Okay. So yeah, so so Double Charge they done. Uh, they didn't do Ninja Steel. They did they no, they're missing one for Beast Morphers. This is silver. Oh yeah, and RPM got the yellow coming out. RPM got the so it's like they could have finished a good chunk of chains, but they didn't because what? We got the fucking Cobra Kai shit that nobody fucking asked for. We got the Turtles crossover stuff that nobody fucking asked for, even though I get it, but whatevs. Uh you Street put out shit. Street no, Fighter no. stuff nobody fucking asked for. Like and and that's three lines that you could have easily used to actually finish off teams. And at the very least, you would have had, other than the seasons that didn't have any toys out, you would at least finish the core seasons that you already started toy lines for. And you would at least been straight-ish to a point. But no, let's uh, re-release Mighty Morphin again, this time with no pins, and charge $40 for them. Oh, also do a clear version of the Phantom Ranger, because yeah. obviously I asked for that. Yeah, who wants? Yeah, because they can't, <laughs> they can't complain about quality control issues. They can't see CJ. <laughs> yeah, that's not even added into quality control. So it's like, okay, so yeah, Black Wings said Titanium didn't get a figure. Okay, all right. Yeah, yeah, Hurricane Drew is getting a special too. Yeah, so it's like, so it's just that, and it's just on the media side. It's like there's no care, but yeah, over Japan, they can care enough to keep investing in those properties year in and year out. And even in the weakest efforts that quote unquote had weak ratings over there, you know, 
I don't even right. think they came. I don't think they came out with Cowboy Tommy Landrum. Nah, no not Cowboy yet. Tommy. Not yet. Not yet. Not well. Not yet. <laughs> Did they do Cowboy Rangers? Because I think we had that on our bingo card of actually happening. Wait, didn't they? I thought they did. Prime, if they did, I really blanked out on it then because I don't even remember. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. I'm not just my customs. Never mind. Ignore me. Ignore yeah, me. Yeah, I'm about to say because there's a guy on, on IG that's been doing customs of a, of a lot of the seasons and stuff, which God bless him. I mean, hey, somebody, somebody's doing the job that Hasbro ain't fucking doing. And it won't be oh, doing it. It won't be doing because they put the shit on ice because, as you said, just goes back to a company that's just there. And then and then on top of that, you have your writer for he who shall not be named, because maybe he might be watching this, whatever. Um that's that really doesn't have a handle on social media enough to really be on social media. I don't think he's mature enough to be on social media. <laughs> it's like, bro, people are gonna talk bad about your product. It's just it's just it's it's online. It is what it is. It's there's nothing you can do about it. There's nothing you can do about it. Like, and, <laughs> and like, you know what I always say, CJ? You know what? You know what shits me the fuck up real quick? Mm-hmm. Good product. Like, good product will solve all criticism. Even mid products will shut me up to a degree. Right. Even even mid products. Like, I had a lot of trepidations about my adventures with Superman when I was looking at some of the art assets and some of the story yeah. designs. I was like, I don't know, but I watched the show. But look. A mid or competent product shit me the fuck up. I'm like, okay, I'm in. Yeah. I watch this. Yeah, I complain a little bit, but it's like, oh, I'm still enjoying it. Fine, right? right. I'm Fine. Like, okay, I, can, I can vibe with that. Fucking uh, when they announced again, same example. When they announced that they Tyler dude was getting a Superman show, I was like, but his Superman sucks. <laughs> they did the show. Like, that show is fucking phenomenal. That show is fucking fire. Well, shit me up. A good fucking product. Like I didn't got nothing to complain about. Also divorced himself from Arrow, unfortunately. So that, that I mean, worked in his favor. They, they, <laughs> removed, they, they removed the tumor, so I'm not even mad at him. And so, <laughs> and so all they have, all they have to do is this particular show. Our favorite home theater enthusiast. All he has to do is just release the product and let the product speak for itself. That's it. That's it. But he knows I, he can't. Because he knows it's going to be dog shit, so he's real fucking sensitive and in his feelings about it. Sometimes shutting up will actually make me warm up to the product. I probably would have, I probably would have excused the ten episodes, ten episode count, and just watched the show as is. But not, nah, he had to keep jumping in and doing all that. And I'm like, and then, and then what makes matters worse is the amount of coping people are doing, like. Uh, and, and I'm not, no offense to the guy that did the, the image for it because it looked dope as hell. Um, he actually made the suits look way better than what the Cosmic Fury suits did. Again, because CJ, the person who did that, they actually care. That's yeah. definitely, you keep forgetting that when, when when fans do things, they're doing it from a place that they care. I, I saw the our, Q Ranger our, influence in it, and I was like, wow, okay, this is, looks dope as shit. Like, all right. When, when, our, when our favorite soundboard enthusiast, when he does anything, he's always thinking about what is uh, the most cost effective, not what makes the most sense. Or what would be something that fans would enjoy? Yeah. And, you know what? I understand that because you know I know running shows can be very hard. So I, I, and, I, I and it's Netflix. With that. However, however, there have been other people in the same position under the same limitations, and they have been able to turn out quality. I bring this up a lot because I think it's a fair comparison. You can say it's apple yeah. oranges, like you say all you want, mm-hmm. but Super Rare Productions gives the people who make Ultraman. <laughs> Twenty dollars in a dream. They're like, "Hey, go make us twenty-five episodes in the movie. Can we get hey. some now?" Nah. But what about my plan? Nah, I can't do that. Can't do that either. And they're like, "Oh, well, damn." And yeah, they that new Ultraman is fire. Ain't gonna lie, that shit is come out with fucking good show. Like fucking Ultraman Decker. The show that we got was not the show they wanted to make at all. And Ultraman Decker is one of the best uh, modern current Ultraman shows to air right now. Ultraman mm-hmm. Blazer again, same thing, and I think it's pretty fucking funny because I think this might be a meta commentary joke. But um, <laughs> Ultraman Blazer, the whole the whole thing behind that, folks, if you're not watching the show, mm-hmm. is the point of view for this show is that we're seeing the defense team being built from the ground up from their perspective. So yeah. they have to cut through a lot of like red tape and work through a lot of um, let's just say what's 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 our SWOT analysis here? They're working a lot of opportunities to um do their to be effective and do their job 
And yeah. there are like a lot of side snide comments that I make that I feel like the writers are venting at Super Ride Productions about how they have to make a Hoshi Man. And it's like, what, what one line was like, you only get uh, this much money. And they said, well, it would be more effective if we had more time. It's like, well, you ain't get it. And I went, Take I, feel your like, leave it. <laughs> I feel like this is a meta commentary over here going on right here. <laughs> like, I feel like emotions are being poured out on the page here. Somebody, somebody in the higher of the Supro is not seeing the commentary for it at all. They're not even getting it. They're just like, well, we're making money. We don't care. <laughs> right. They're like, does it sell soft vinyls? Then I don't give a fuck. You can put whatever you want on the script. It's like Stay with my shit. goddamn monster figures. And that's the thing. It's, it's it, you know, like I said, I, you know, yeah, you're working on the limitations, but it's, it's, I get that. I work on the limitations. I understand the it's pressure. Netflix too. I, I, yeah. Other people have been in the same position, sometimes worse off than you, and mm -hmm. they turn out quality product without getting on social media and acting like a little part of my French punk ass bitch. Look, look, so none of, none, um, none of the other writers prior to Donna Fury ever went online and bitched and moaned. They just let the product go I mean, where it goes. And you hey, know what? And if the, what if the writers and producers on like In Space, Time Force, or RPM, if they were on Twitter acting like assholes, I'd be like, you know what? I get it. The, the most they, the most you ever got was message boards back in the day with some of the writers, if I remember correctly. Like some of the writers would pop in on Ranger Board and you know, a lot of them for the most part never responded to the trolls and the stupid stupid shit. Right? Like because like why respond to that? Why? Right, it, it does right, no, it right. does nothing for you. Now right. legitimate critique, sure, respond to those things because right. fine, but you you're like he so was job, about, yeah, yeah. yeah. Go my, ahead. Thing, my thing about him, my thing about him is you're exactly right. Like he doesn't respond to legitimate critiques. He calls those attacks, but he does respond to like dumbasses who are asking, "How come the lizard dinosaur lady doesn't have titties?" He'll respond to that. He'll have a conversation about that. But when people are asking about like consistency in the story, um, what's going on with the set design, what is going on with the mm -hmm. overall quality in your cinematography? Oh, you're a toxic troll. What the fuck? Yeah. The fuck? Yeah. It's it's you know and that's that's why I laugh at the uh, if you if you guys saw the thumbnail for this like somebody was like who's the three major enemies of Power Rangers <laughs> it's like him Saban and Nickelodeon man look I mean, I, they're not fucking wrong look, look, look Saban not, Saban when he brought it back yeah he was definitely like kneecapping the shit out of Power Rangers Nickelodeon was helping him all along the way too I uh, I will never forgive Nickelodeon and their stupid ways of putting out products it's like. Why would you split the show into two seasons? And I gotta wait a whole year for the second half. That made no goddamn sense. And no. I, would, I would, and you know what? What would get me about that shit, bro, is that it would make sense to me if that would then give the writers and the cast and crew like more time to do do the production. But it doesn't. They had filmed everything in that chunk, and they were just split it. Like, then what was the fucking point? Like, like why? Why? And apparently that is somebody was saying that's Nickelodeon, how Nickelodeon operates. They never put out a whole thing for the whole year. They do it to kind of like, I guess, stagger their releases and stuff, which is weird because fucking Cartoon Network don't even do that shit. So I'm like, the hell is Nickelodeon smoking? So, you know, it, it is what it is, man. But yeah, I, like that shit from San Diego, hearing that and then the shit that happened this week, I was like, Wow, that actually lines up now. I, I, the brand is cooked, bro. We so fucking dead, dog. We so it's over. I'm watching Cos watch Cos and Fury. I got my DVDs of Power Rangers. Well, minus the Neo Spawn era, but what else? You know, you know it is what it is. It is what it is. You know, I got the Boom Comics, Boom Studio Comics. If I want to keep, you know, supporting it, but. Pat on the on the on the media side, on the toy side, on on TV and on toys. Oh yeah, it's done. It's fucking done. It's over. It's a wrap. Hope y'all ready for the ten episodes of Member Berries because that's gonna be all the Power Rangers y'all gonna get for the now, now. I will. Now, I will say maybe it, now with it moving back to LA. Now maybe there's hope because you know we are in a writer strike right now. To be fair, so maybe there's hey, a hope. And there's hope a hope. Come back. <laughs> no, it's hope that maybe they'll they'll use this time with this writer strike to take assessment of their fucking product and do that. But that, that's CJ. that's the optimist in me. And CJ, yeah. CJ, why would anything nice happen? <laughs> why why would you 
why would you assume the best of a fucking corporation that's already saying that they're gonna fucking charge you for yeah. or they want I'm sorry, not charge you. They want you to give you your they want your money before they make the product they're gonna sell to you. Oh, oh, by the way, folks, uh that power X and power bow is actually hundred percent done. That's what the guy told me. Straight up. It's done. Them I shits. It. It's been sitting there. They've been waiting to put it out. It's been done. It's just they got fucking put on ice for right now. And I'm like, yeah, I figured they were done. I figured they were fucking done. You can't see it right now, but I'm doing the hardest jerk off motion. <laughs> so I was like, all right, cool. You know, it, it is what it is. I, I just had to put that out there. And, and, and to bring it back to what you said about bringing it back to L.A., um, and I don't know much about what's going on in the walls of Hasbro because I'm a sane human being. Yeah. But um, I feel like they probably bought the brand and went, oh, well, we can just, you know, do this and do that and just, you know, put out a put out a product and it doesn't, you know, it's, it, it is what it is. Like, it's easy, right? Because I think, yeah. when I was talking to my friend Alex, like, people forget that Toei makes this look real easy. Like, anyone thinks they can just, like, go in their backyard or go to the park and film some flips. Not yeah. realizing that Toei has been doing this for decades, and mm -hmm. they have like a fucking machine pumping out multiple shows, multiple episodes at a time. So like they've been around the block, they know how this this game works. Keep in mind that y'all forget Hasbro tried to do their own, I mean not Hasbro Saban tried to do their own thing with Mystic Knights, and they couldn't sustain that shit because they're like because it's expensive as shit to do your own original stuff. Which that right. was the thing. That's the thing that all of us were saying when they when they when I think it was E One Entertainment, which E One Entertainment is gone now. Um, which when they were crazy. <laughs> when they when they announced that they were going to do it was like this whole big this big huge rollout of Power Rangers on Netflix where it was like all right. We're going to have this area of Power Rangers where we're still doing adaptations of Super Sentai, but we have these two things over here where it's going to be all new original. And all of us was like, do you know how expensive how that shit is going to be if you do like original the, stuff? Like, how the fuck were y'all going to do that? How? Like, do you, do you not realize how time consuming this shit is? Because you got to come up with you come, come up with the from scratch. You got to come up with the stories from scratch. Because, well, I mean, obviously the current crew couldn't do that. So let me not fall. Well, they were going to CW size the fucking Power Rangers Prime. We and you said that as much. Like, that. that's what you do. You, do, you go CW with the Power Rangers and stuff. That means a lot of talking in hallways and maybe one or two <laughs> half fights per episode. Two fights. It could be one and a half. It ain't going to be. It, it, it's going to be one fight. <laughs> one and a half. One and a half. And you might get a, a stock footage of the robot doing one finishing move. <laughs> we pay for that CGI model. Johnson put some work into it. That's, that's exactly what they were going to do. And I'm pretty sure E1 was like, shit, doing original stuff is expensive. No shit. Yeah, because you got to pay artists. You got to pay, pay money. money. <laughs> you yeah. got to do money. <laughs> Which, like you say, it goes back to what your boy Alex said. It's like, yeah, they've been doing this shit for years, you know, so they know the ins and outs. <laughs> Yeah, they know the shortcuts. They know how to, you right. know, cost where where to cut, where to cut money at and where to use money at. And hey, if they gotta use that fucking, they they gotta use that quarry for Common Rider. They're gonna use that shit in Super Sentai, and they're gonna use that shit in Metal Heroes. And yeah, you're gonna complain, but you're gonna enjoy it because fuck it, it's a quarry. Who cares? Am I entertained? Right. Yes. <laughs> right. They know what it is and what to do. And I feel like people really underestimate that shit. Like, I, especially like a lot of American fans, they just realize, oh, I can, I can, uh, I can make Power Rangers. I can buy the rights. No, you could not. You, you could not. Uh, and think on paper, sure, but in execution, mm -hmm. mm. and especially where we're in a, which is part, which is the main reason why this writer strike and you know actor strike is happening, is that these companies are not willing to spend money. And they want to be cheap about making a good product, and you can't cheap out on making a good product. Like there's okay. limits to this shit. <laughs> right, right. And they it's not that they don't want to just cheap out and make product, they just like they just want to hoard all the money and resources and they want to exploit people I mean, and not the, the, pay people what they're worth. The special effects people are about to go on strike. Thank thank I God. Ah, thank wow. God they're about to actually form a union. And I'm oh, like, thank you. Because yes. look, look, if it took the shit with Marvel for the special effects to finally form a union, I'm for it. I'm 100% for it because they should have been formed a union years ago. Years ago. And they just never did. They endure. 
for half of some of them shitty ass movies is not making any sense. Because I would say even before Marvel, I would say even going as far back as like the mid to late nineties and all the shit that they had to do, like all that, like for years. And that was and that was had like a, a lower less like there were a lot less visual effects in shots. Like now there are whole costumes and shit that are CG. Mm-hmm. Like come on, dog. So I'm glad they're like, yo, we need to get a union. Thank you. You guys need a union. You guys need to be protected, and that, and that, um, yeah, yeah. Now I'm fucking rooting for them. Go do that yeah, shit. Yeah, they, they need it, you know. And that's why, I'm, for, like I said, at the end of the day, me and you are on the same page. It's like, look, I got Super Sentai, I got Kamen Rider. We got new, you know what? Let's go. Let's let's transfer transition into good news, all right? Because you know, I think we we beat a horse dead enough. You know, it's 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 already dead. Um, Kamen Rider got you. I like. It. I'm, like I saw, like I said, uh, I think an episode or two ago, he has the goggles. I'm all in. Say Look, no more, fam. I, 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 I kind of want that suit as a cosplay, even though I probably don't have the money for a cosplay of that. <laughs> but goddamn, you're right. Them goggles set it off, though. Like, can he actually use the goggles, or is it just part of the helmet? You know what? I don't know. It looks like it's just part of the helmet. But if it can lower down, that would be cool as shit. I mean, it would. I mean, look. You know, it's funny with Kamen Rider suits is that, like, I think, what was it, uh, X-8. I remember when that suit dropped, I was on the fence, and I know you were all in. And then when I saw it in the first episode, I was like, okay, I like the suit now. I like it 100%. Right, right. Vibe with it. I fucking fucks with it. <laughs> this is what I vibe with from day one. I'm like, okay, I'm with it. I like I'm, it. I'm, I see the vision. I see the vision. I like it. I like it. Look, I'm liking uh, Kamen Rider Foz's new suit. With the updated, oh, with, with the with the with, the, with the, uh, the phone is now a Android phone now, and I'm like, oh, dope! You, you updated the phone to be the modern standards. Great. So I like it though. But yeah, Gotchard, I'm definitely digging. Um, I think he did an appearance in the Geats uh, movie that dropped. Yeah, come. Mm-hmm. yeah, so I saw a clip of it uh, on um, Twitter, and that's been uh, great. Which I mean, was well, X now, but I call it Twitter. I'm not calling that shit X. <laughs> was uh, it? I'd be cold in the ground for I recognize X. Yeah, exactly. I, you know, that shit's a fucking. I, I could do a whole show on just Elon's stupidity. You know, somebody had a good point about this. It's amazing that the richest people that got all the resources have no fucking imagination. Absolutely none. Negative imagination, as a matter of fact. That's crazy to me. It's like, how do you not have, have, have in my eyes the goggles? They do nothing. <laughs> um, but yeah, going back to what Brian had mentioned at the top of the show, um, Ultraman on Netflix. Um, I was actually waiting to see what you what you felt about the, with season three and stuff. Um, Cause I watched it, I enjoyed it. What did you think of season three? In spite of the fact that the manga is still ongoing, so they had to kind of make up their own ending. Um, I liked it. Like I liked it a lot. Like I said, on September 29th, I will be watching. <laughs> Does that mean that more from the cast needs to do a, a a whole episode dedicated to the uh, series at that point? I mean, yeah, we need to finish it up because we only did season. We only talked about season, season one. Two. Yeah, so we got to do um, two and three. Two and three. Yeah, for sure. Two was, two was kind of dookie. <laughs> two was two. Two is what I like to call an OVA. It was it was very quick. Right, <laughs> to the point. It was like that wasn't that good. Like, oh, this is okay. I tolerated it because I'm all for a team up of other Ultraman. So it's like, ah, oh, you got me. But you know, it definitely was the weakest. And then season three it was like, all right, guys, we heard you. They We're gonna write the shit out of this. They man, it was it was some good shit, man. Some good shit. I mean, I love it. I mean, look, I, I I'm, I'm digging the manga still. So it, you know, it's it, on one hand. I wish that the show could have continued to be like the manga and stuff, but at the same time, I appreciate that they were actually able to end on their own terms. So, you know. Maybe we might get the Ultraman Brotherhood treatment and they can redo it closer to the manga. Hmm. See, if they do that, uh, would you want them to still stick with the CGI animation? Or would you Hell want to- no. Switch that shit. <laughs> I'm just asking. <laughs> Hell no, nah. or or better yet, the the Ultraman they can still be CG, but everything else hand drawn. Okay, that's fair. That 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 is one hundred percent fair. Um, yeah, I, I like I love, I love season three, um, and just everything that it it, it culminated with the story they were telling. Because I I was very kind of trepidatious. Like you came off season two, y'all gotta come with the heat on season three, and I was like, okay, you you, 
told a really good, solid story beginning. Oh, they came in. Gotcha. They came in boiling. What you what you mean? <laughs> I know. That's that's why I was like, all right, you got me. You got me. All right. Cool. 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 Still gonna buy. I, I. You know what? I might try to get all the SH figure arts of those Ultraman because the, they just the look two, pretty hot. The three that I have are quite nice. Which which one is your favorite? The suits, um, damn, you guys can pick my kids. Um, I mean, I like your boy Dan. That, that's my fave, easily. Oh uh, yeah, the seven suits dope. Uh, I'm really partial to the Zolfi suit, and I really like Taro's suit. You know what? It took me a minute to warm up the Taro suit, but I actually ended up liking it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's 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 dope. And I also like the the spoiler spoiler in the the last episode. Oh yeah, yeah, folks. You, you need to watch season three. We're not going to spoil that. <laughs> you should really watch it. Um, yeah, Brian has a good point. Uh, <laughs> Raider friend zone, my boy, super hard. Oh yeah, she did. Ooh, ooh, yeah, she friend zoned the shit out of that guy. It's a damn shame. Damn shame. Um. So we got Ultraman <laughs> real quick. And speaking of Ultraman, can I just talk mm-hmm. real quick about how the Cleopatra Company, how they released the Shin Ultraman DVD, Blu-ray, okay, and okay, the of that shit. Okay, so folks, so yeah, Cleopatra, they were supposed to do Shin Ultraman, and uh, the first release that came out, they botched the the, the, the subtitles, right? Mm-hmm. And they did a reprint of. Ultraman, thankfully, even though if you already bought the original one, the way to get the new one is a bit of a pain in the ass process, which it should not, be. Not really. I um I just emailed them and said, Hey, um, can I get another one? And they said, Can you send us a picture of your, your DVD? And I was like, Here you go. And they're like, We'll send you one. And I got oh, okay. it real quickly. So it, it wasn't oh, okay, okay. I don't know. Some people said they had they had some issues, so I don't know if it's just a on a person by person basis kind of thing. Maybe, maybe, maybe this is my riz through the email. I don't know what to, I don't know what to say. But yeah, um, but yeah, I, how about you elaborate past that? Because that's that's the that's the gist of the Cleopatra Ultra and Ultra Man. But I heard there's more. So, so they did the second print race, right? Mm-hmm. But then uh, they realized that they have to make another edition that has true subtitles instead of a transcription of the dub audio, oh and the third God. edition. That are going to come out will also fix some issues that people were having with some um, some of the DVDs are having some issue. I get with some of the the video quality with the compression of the video, and so now they're going to come out with a, a third edition that fixes those issues. So should have just let Supro do this. Just saying. I mean, I, I really thought it was really strange. Like, why didn't Mill Creek get it? Yeah, why yeah Mill Creek? I don't want to say Supro yeah. Mill Creek. Yeah, I, 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 that 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 was very baffling. Like. You know. And like, and here, here's also another inside thing. I don't know if I'm, what, am I allowed? What am I allowed to say? So, um, I mean, it's on you, bro. I mean, you know how we are. <laughs> like, what, what am I allowed to say? <laughs> I don't, I don't like, in trouble. You, yeah, uh, like, Joey's uh, gonna put a gun to our head. Like, how dare you? <laughs> you know, like, come nah, on, I'm saying, I don't want to get anybody in trouble. <laughs> Stuff I'm not supposed to know. Um, <laughs> so I hear it through the grapevine. Mm-hmm. That the reason why we haven't gotten the rest of the new generation Ultraman DVDs mm-hmm. is that the deal with Mill Creek has run out. And uh, that's also the reason why we're getting stuff like that. The Ultra Monster box set that started mm-hmm. with Red King mm-hmm. is because they're still trying to print things to keep, you know, I guess an inflow or income coming in or just oh, okay. hey, we, we still have the brand. We still have the license while they're working out the deal now why they haven't renewed with subaraya i can't say but that's the reason why we haven't gotten ultraman tiger and z and the rest of them yet on a uh, blu-ray here from mill creek that would make sense i mean especially since they did the rollout for um uh was it blizzard yeah Blizz- blazar. It right? blazar um being simulcast and all that so i have to imagine it being simulcast kind of ties into the whole thing with them redoing the deal, which I mean, I guess that makes sense in a way. Cause you have to actually kind of structure your deals out like, all right, well, how are we going to do this and still keep the money flow going if we're simulcasting? What, you know, it is what it is, but it makes sense. I mean, you didn't, you didn't give up your source prime. You're good. All right. <laughs> 
Okay, okay. That's, that was vague <laughs> enough, enough, right? Yeah, it's vague enough. It's not like you gave up the source. Like, my source here at Blah. Like, come on, dog. Like, you know, we're not the Illuminati here. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> my cousin who works in Nintendo, totally. Somebody really tried to get on me, like, see, they broke so much news. I'm like, Luma Nerdy lucks out on news if we're going to be real. Like, come on. What they do is luck based. Uh, fuck, I can do luck based. I was like, hey, I can read Reddit too. Hold on. <laughs> come on, CJ. I can read fucking damn 4chan if I wanted to. Shit. You know, all that stuff they break and stuff. Like, come on. Like, again, I, look, I, <laughs> nerd news, pop culture news, period, entertainment news is the Good very man. weirdest. It's in a very weird space because it's like anybody can do it, but it's just the way it's done. It's just like, like you said, my my dad's cousin's brother knows about this thing, and then people run with it as facts, and it's like, are you sure? Like, there's a reason why James Gunn is cussing out everybody, putting out bullshit news about DC movies, because he's like, no, that's not happening. Shut the fuck up. Like, like what, like, happened, what happened to fact checking and what happened to shame? <laughs> That's why I appreciate James Gunn. Do I think it's over the top? Sure. Like, you don't have to do it, but he's doing it. Like, no, fuck you. You're not going to sit there and tell everybody, oh, we found our Superman. He's like, no, we haven't. We haven't even, even done any sort of like pre anything on our Superman yet. What are we doing here? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Entertainment news is in the toilet at this stage. It's just been oh, God. A I have pulled out so hard, man. I'm like, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Not worth my time. Um, so this is the first thing that I'm hearing of this and stuff because I, I never heard of these line of toys. So I guess the mini play toy line got revamped into um uh what was it? Where is it at? Uh, yeah, the uh, Mecha Catalog. Well, not Mecha Catalog. The Sho Sho uh, Shokugan uh, Modeling Project. I didn't know that. So all the Super Mini Play stuff that you saw with um, uh, what about to say? Um, Lightspeed Rescue. Damn. Um, Go Go 5. Yeah, Go Go 5, all that. It got redone in the Shokugan Modeling Project. And the newest one that's coming out of it is the Tiger's Award. And Let's go. yeah, model kits and everything. You can build it up and model it however you want. It looks pretty dope. And I guess it combines with the other one that came out. I can dig it. I like it. I, I fucks with it. I, I pay with money. It. I pay money for it. I don't know. I got there's so much Toku stuff that I want, but you know, funds and life and responsibilities. So adulting <laughs> sucks, man. Yeah, you know, you gotta you gotta play Sophie's Choice sometimes on what you want, you know. So, you know, you know what I'm not paying money for is this bullshit here. Seventy dollars, seventy dollars, seventy-two dollars. Oh, a tax. My bad, tax. Seventy-two. <laughs> seventy-two dollars. And what kills me about that photo, CJ, is that they couldn't even be bothered to turn the horns on the bull right, mm -hmm. or turn the arm on the swordfish in the right way. So, like. That just shows they don't give a shit. Like, like they they don't care. So why? Again, seven, why seven, seven, care? Seven, seventy-two for this, and I'm just dollars. like. And again, 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 the fucking cope of I'm, I'm again, like you say, CJ, <laughs> these xenophobes who are like, oh, well, that's the best that design has ever looked. You would goddamn lie. I, I will show you over to the Q Ranger uh, toy of this that looks very vibrant. And, and, like, while, and while and while and while this one does have a little bit more articulation. It still isn't worth the money. I gotta be honest with you. It's That's not, not worth saving that, bro. There are Happy Meal toys that are worth more than that more <laughs> shit, man. Now I saw people do. I saw people do reviews of this, and it looks a little bit better with the reviews. But I ain't paying seventy two dollars for it. I'm still not gonna pay seventy two dollars for it. I tell you what, I pay that fifteen when it's at Ollie's. You got me fucked up. <laughs> oh, you just. You just gonna be like Birdman doing the Birdman hand rub, patiently waiting like fifteen dollars. I feel that's a spite buy if you buy it for fifteen prime. No, yeah, and it's like we get that morpher for uh three dollars. <laughs> what the master morpher? No, the uh, the cosmic fury morpher. You seen that bullshit? Again, I told you I'm buying the Q Ranger morpher. I, I'm not even gonna even bother with even getting it because. 
you know, like I bought the Beast Morphers uh a morpher and it's huge. Um it's it, it's it's actually not bad, but it's just like I prefer the Go Buster one. It's just simple and to the point. But like no, like I said, I'm gonna buy one as a dollies. Yeah, <laughs> that's a spite by prime. Why would you waste your money on that? Why? Why would you do that? <laughs> to send a message. Sometimes it's not about the message. <laughs> Gotta do a YouTube video. Three dollars, Ollie's. Let's go. Right. When I, when I do, you know what? When I do that, it'll be the first video on my YouTube channel. <laughs> Hello, kids. <laughs> Hello, Simon. Uh, <laughs> turn around the chair. Hello, sir. Pet your cat. Pet your cats as you do it. <laughs> look where I am, and look what I found. High quality uh, gubat. Uh, we're actually uh, we're uh, coming out of San Diego Comic Con. Uh, we're actually getting the upcoming uh, He Say Generation editions of the uh, figure arts for the uh, comic uh, writers. And I and here here we go here again. So this mm -hmm. is a this is a time when Bandai is on the bullshit. So <laughs> we're releasing that those generation of figures, right? Mm -hmm. The first time they released those figures, they didn't come with their weapons, but now magically they do. Seventy-five bucks, seventy-five dollars, seventy-five Thank bucks. Thanks. Go suck, suck an egg. <laughs> <laughs> seventy-five dollars, bro. <prime. laughs> or that I didn't get the first time when I bought it. You dirty <laughs> bitch. That is that is Bandai shit. Remember when Bandai had Power Rangers and they re-released the uh the the the, 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 uh, the um. The action figures with the MMPR and they had the weapons attached to it, and me and or, you were like, or, "The fuck? Are you kidding me?" <laughs> or that shit they would do when they would release the figures individually, and then they would release their huge card pack, and then they'll put the yeah. weapons, or weapons in the card pack. Like I think, yeah, I think it was the Mighty Morph when they came with the Power Blaster combined. Yep. And then yep. there was the um, not RP. It wasn't RPM. Which one was it? Was it Jungle Fury? It was Jungle Fury. Came? Was it Jungle Fury? It actually came with like the uh the cannon and shit. Yeah, yep, it, it yep, was. Yeah, it was Jungle Fury. It was fucking Jungle Fury because it came with the actual fucking jungle cannon. You, you dirty bitch. <laughs> See, that's the. It's like Hasbro got shit. Bandai shit is that where you just sit back like this could all been prevented and could have really mitigated a lot of stuff in your factories if you just put the shit out whole the first time. Right. Well, to be fair, uh, Hasbro shit is negligence. Bandai shit is just being petty. Yeah, yeah, it's petty and greed combined. Right, right, <laughs> hey, right. Like you said, get these S he say generation figure arts now, complete with weapons. And you're like, motherfucker. And my thing about this shit is like, I hate you. you straight up Malibu Stacy new hat me, you dirty bastard. You, you dirty And the only bitch. thing this benefits is folks that didn't buy them the first time. So now it's like, yay, I get it. And then meanwhile, you and everybody else that bought it the first time are just sitting back like, I fucking hate you guys. <laughs> Cock, you fucking cock moblins. How dare you? I hope you guys choke on your figure. <laughs> <laughs> I hope your 300 swallows it. How about that? How about that? Yeah, damn it. Oh my god, man. Yeah, that, yeah. I mean, look, how do you think I how do you think I feel when they put out that lightning collection version 2.0 of the MPR? And I'm just sitting back like so this how is just crazy. How do you think so I feel when <laughs> I bought that that two pack with the for the red soccer ranger. Then I bought that exclusive for the blue soccer ranger, and they went. Oh, <laughs> Prime, there's a reason why I just bought the soccer ranger five pack and kept it moving. I, I yeah, I was I was like no, but no, no. The same it's the same reason why I'm buying the A squad five pack when it when it when it's dropping. I'm just getting that shit, and keeping it moving. I'm not even nah. You ain't gonna get me with that shit. Kiss my ass. <laughs> That's right. I haven't bought any of the fucking SPD Ranger because I'm like, you fool me once, bitch. I mean, I bought them because I'm trying to get all of them, so I had I had no choice. Um, you know, just like I bought uh, the Alien Rangers because the shits look hot. I, I I have not seen any complaints on the Alien Ranger Lightning Collection figures. Yeah, I got mine too. I have a complaint. So, um... Mm -hmm. The... Um, the the body modes are all different types. Mm -hmm. um, white as a pinless body. The male bodies have pins. They're all different heights. Uh -huh. And blue is the wrong shade of blue for the <laughs> Alien Ranger blue. 
Wow. If you if you, if you put a picture up with a side by side from the show, it's he's like a he's the blue that band that a Hasbro said this is the blue we get, so this is the blue y'all gonna get. Tough and shit. Not like and not like <laughs> the aqua blue or the till, tillish blue that he is in the show. So that fucking sucks. And their accessories are kind of ass. This is kind of like eh. Yeah, because it's just the gun and the swords. That's it. Yes, yeah, the gun and it's the gun, it's the sword, and then the gun and gun mode and in dagger mode. Yeah. But not in holster mode because it took me a minute to like stick the gun in the holster because of how the way that it sits in the suits were so they're not, not so they're not made for not no the to to be sure accurate, the the piece that's supposed to go in a holster is not made really for that holster. Really? Yeah. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. Huh. Well, I mean, I'm still buying it anyway, so I'm not even. I mean, like I say, I get it. I like the figures, but like I say, I can't even. I can't even give them a fucking compliment without them fucking it up. <laughs> it's like you were this close to greatness. You know what's crazy to me is that the monsters that they did for the Lightning Collection are actually really good. Minotaur and all that stuff. That's wild. Finster being probably the best shit ever, bar none, easily. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be honest. I still need to get me a Finster. Uh, he is one of the ones that I do want. Uh, I want to get a Mezagog too, if possible. I mean, oh, yeah, I, need, I, need, I need Mezagog for sure. I'm not buying the shit at retail though. Get this not, that's not to get the game twisted now. I'm not paying for hey, the price. way the way I'm eyeing eBay, eyeing fucking Amazon. Like, come on, Amazon, break that shit down. Let's say, do you know how many of these shits I got for like uh, under twelve dollars? <laughs> just just watch Amazon, y'all. Watch it. Put this on the yeah. yeah. Um. Oh, so this got announced. Um, obviously, Toku related. I laughed a bit. So we're getting King Kong versus Justice League versus Godzilla thing, and I just have one question, Prime. Why? When I find out, I'll how does this work? How does this work? How how does this work? I mean, I guess giant. It is Godzilla versus Power Rangers makes sense, right? Because you know, I mean, there's. I guess... And I mean, I guess Justice League for Power Rangers made some kind of sense. You know, the, yeah, heroes and heroes. All right, cool. But like, Superman can literally like kill Godzilla in a punch. Like, would like? I mean, like, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll, I like the art, though. No, no, the art looked dope. It's just when I when I saw that announcement at San Diego, I just let out a hearty laugh. Like, ah, okay, gotcha. Ah. <laughs> okay. Wait, who? Wait, who is Bar for crossing over with? Um. What? Damn, it's some shit they got a laugh out of me. It's Mar- who? Are- not Attack on Titan. They're doing um. <laughs> Didn't they do that with fucking Guardians of the Galaxy? And I'm like, that makes no goddamn sense because all the Marvel Hills will wax the fucking damn Attack on Titans people. Like, this, this is zero sense. Oh no, it's not Attack. Wait, who- y'all help me out in the chat. What was that crossover that Marvel's doing now? It's the Avengers and is it some anime? Fuck. I know Justice League did the shit with RBY and Justice yeah with League. Ruby yeah not not yeah. that hold on what's that crossover that Marvel's doing I I got a I got a good laugh out of that shit <laughs> Ultraman <laughs> God damn it thank you fuck R- really Avengers and okay. Ultraman okay gotcha gotcha hearty hearty chuckle hearty 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 laugh so. Disco Tech was at Otakon. Uh, lots of news that dropped. Uh, the Digimon stuff is the one that piqued my interest. Oh, hell yeah. I'm getting all that shit. Anything they put out, I'm buying it. Now, let me ask you this. Because for me... Oh, to be fair. I'm... I'm, I'm, uh, I'm oh, what are you going to say? I'm going to say, anything they put out, I'm buying it. Though, to be fair, I'm just buying it out of brand loyalty because mm-hmm. um, I don't like the upscale they're using for the footage. Um... Which one? Uh, they're so they're 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 um digitally mastering remastering the um the shows for air quote Blu Ray quality. So that's when they go through and they use, I'm I'm assuming they're using the machine to do this because they're not they can't be a human because like you're, you're removing a lot of the grain from the the animation film and sales mm-hmm. and watching that and it looks it actually looks real fucking ugly. Do you have the um their Ronin Warriors Blu Ray? Yeah, I have it. Okay, compare the blue, compare that Blu-ray to a, a DVD steal, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Okay, yeah, I, I've been watching it, so it's it's kind of like you know, 
Like uh, I, I, I started watching that Blu-ray and I couldn't keep watching it because of how fucking washed out everything looked. It, like it, it, it hurt my eyes. <laughs> Jesus. Um, let me ask you this: Which which uh, Digimon are you going to get? Are you going to get the dub or are you going to actually get the sub? I'm getting both. See, I'm debating because it's like, do I want to get both or just get one? I'm just, I'm I mean, conflicted. I'm conflicted a little bit. I mean, do you? I mean, I guess do whatever, which whichever version you have the most connection with. But I'm a fucking fanboy, so I'm going to have both on the shelf. It's like I want to get the sub just to see how much of a different. It was, I guess, tonally in some of the episodes and stuff. Well, that's obviously- like, if if you can, uh, was it filmation or filtration? Yeah, filtration DVD. They came out a while ago. Like, ooh, it's been a minute. But they came out with six box sets mm-hmm. of um, Digimon, mm-hmm. and the transfers on those they're not perfect. They're fine, but it maintains the original animation mm-hmm. integrity. So if okay. you find those, I would I would get them. Okay. And I think you can get like a box set that has seasons one through four for like fairly a good price if you look around, even though they're out of print right now. Okay. Um, but if you can't get those, and then if you want to see the original, and then if then get the, the discotheque Japanese sub uh Blu-rays if you want to see the difference between the two. Okay, cool. Um Cyber Six is coming to Blu-ray Prime. I'm excited actually because I actually like that show. My, I'm beating my dick. I can't wait. <laughs> I saw that announcement. I was like, "You goddamn right!" I fucking love that show. The packaging looks dope as shit. I'm like, uh, can't right. wait. I need to pre-order. I mean, and speaking of speaking of Disco Tech, uh, I just pre-ordered. I finally got my pre-order in for the Black RX set, so that should be here at the end of the month. Okay, cool. Third hey, look, man, I, I'm. Man, I'm excited for it because it's like after watching Black and we did an episode, I'm really wanting to see how like just the transition from Black into Black RX and how that because I mean I saw I watched the first episode on on um, Toei's uh, YouTube channel, but I really just want to see just how it all just transpires. I you want know, you to know if you're, going, if you're going if you're going straight from Black to Black RX, you better get ready for a hard transition. <laughs> I mean, look, from episode one, it feels like it's going to be a hard transition for sure. Like, it is an entirely different show. <laughs> one ten thousand and five percent. I mean, somebody told me it was like uh, Shadow Moon just pops up in Black RX. Like, why the fuck is Shadow Moon here? Like, all right, literally, he just here. He just, he's just here just because. <laughs> it's like he already had his arc in Black. Why is he in Black RX? This makes. No sense whatsoever. None at all. And then <laughs> he pops up. <laughs> we'll, talk, we'll talk about it. We'll talk. I, I don't want to spoil all it. Right. I don't um, Goku Midnight Eye on Blu ray. For the old tacos everywhere, we're all celebrating because that, that was a movie. That was a time. It just had to be there. Crying Freeman getting an HD remaster and on Blu ray. These kids don't understand, bro. They, they they don't understand these these, these kids. We we trying to reach these God kids, man. Yeah, damn <laughs> crunchy rolls and their fucking Funimations. <laughs> All of us had to literally go into the gullies of <laughs> this piracy, <laughs> watch all this stuff, and now we get it in glorious Blu-ray high definition. It's great. Charge Man Kid is coming too. Really. Yep, Charge Man Ken coming to Blu ray. That was the other big major announcement, which shocked the fuck out of a lot of people. Because I've heard, I heard of Charge Man Ken, but I never watched it. But there was a shit ton of folks at Otakon that was like losing their shit at that announcement. Yeah, I guess between Disco Tech and Mill Creek doing the Lord's work. <laughs> and self serving dude, Street Fighter 2 the animated movies getting 4K. And I'm just like, Y'all didn't think to do a 4K the first time? Like, we just did Blu-ray and just that 4K. 4K. I guess those sales numbers were looking quite nice for them. Clearly. I mean, hey, look, I'm not buying no 4K. I got it in the fucking Blu-ray. I'm fine. I don't need 4K. But, you know, it is what it is. You know, sometimes you got to double dip and stuff. But, hey, there there's comparison clips out there. So so there's that. Um, let's see. Lady Georgie is getting a uh, Blu-ray release, which kudos. Um, where is it? I think Digimon Adventure 2 
is coming out on Blu-ray. Actually. Yes. And thank you for reminding us, Brian. The movies are getting a special re-release. We're getting the dub and the subs in one package. Yeah, they're giving us all of them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, they, 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 they're giving us all of them, which I was like, man, that is, yeah. yeah. And what I like yeah. about this is it said movie set one, which means we going to get some more, baby. Yeah, look, DA Live, we're at 3BG stand discotheque because, look, as much as I stand for discotheque because they, they, they're they doing Metal Hero and low-key ultra and, and low-key, you know, Kamen Rider a little bit because how wonky Kamen Rider and Metal Hero licenses are. Thanks, Toei. Um, like, I'm just like, cool, when we get in B-Fighter, I'm still waiting, waiting for that announcement. I thought they were going to announce it at Otakon, nothing, but I'm like, I feel that's coming. I don't know why, I just have a feeling that that's coming. If not B-Fighter, can we get Melitor and Shider? I mean, they already gave us uh, Space Sheriff Gavin, so it feels like that's the likely thing that it might go in that direction. Then, I mean, you good. can also give us Spellbond and Melitor. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Hey, look, man. Get, the, get, get that VR Trooper crowd. Be like, remember VR Troopers? Come check this out. I'm saying we 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 out here we out here. Yeah, I mean, but yeah, that that was the Digimon C- Adventure Two the season. Adventure Two was the big one, also on top of everything. Which I'm like, okay, I'm definitely gonna buy that for sure. Because you know, it's funny with Digimon. People forget out of everybody in that out of those kids from Adventure One, TK was the one that got fucking scarred. <laughs> Like all of them went through a journey, but TK especially got scarred. His old Digimon died and they came back, and then season two, he was like, Oh no, fuck this shit. He is not dying again. And then he ended up running, running, running hands on uh, what's his face? Um, uh, Ken. Yeah, Ken. <laughs> I said, These hands are ready to eat for everyone. I don't give a shit. This is not happening. <laughs> Oh man, Digimon for the kids, Brian. For the kids. For the kids. For the culture. <laughs> Again, then, t- y'all just had to be there. Y'all just had to fucking be there. You had to be there, man. It was like, because I remember in season one when AG Man died, I was like, oh, he died? Are you kidding me? They they could die? I was like, wow. Like they really went ballsy with this shit. And then, you know, Tamer is when Leomon died. I was like, yo, this is Leomon always dies. <laughs> And that girl went into fucking, I'm going to slash my wrist because my Digimon died. <laughs> and then Dibby Devimon got a uh, got an arc out of it. Which, Ipon, you know, Ipon. 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 Well, I say Devimon. Wow. Ipon. I think, does it have does it share a voice actor? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Yeah, I think that's probably why because I think a lot of people don't realize like Digimon, they really did kind of cross over on a lot of the voice actors each season. I think even all the way up to what, Data Squad? All the way up to fucking uh, fusion. Well, on the dub, cause I didn't know they dub fusion. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, they dub cross. Yeah, cross wars is fusion. Yeah, I yeah. really did not know that. I thought Data Squad was the last dub I saw. That was when Disney had it, which that was right. a weird time. Right, right. <laughs> they, but they only did, I think, up to season two. They didn't do the last season, the uh, cross wars. Ah, okay, okay, okay. One thing about me, folks, I fucking love me some Digimon. Look, look, I need to catch up with it because it's weird. I have caught, I have stayed up with, yeah, yeah. But Brian said, isn't Demi Ma and Richard Epcar? I'm like, I think so. But I was saying, Demi, I think, no, but I think Demi Devi and Ip Man were the, same, same, were the same, actor. same voice actors, though. Because yeah. the guy who does Ip Man, he also does, um, I was going to say, you won't even know who this is. He also does Jeremy or um, Tanjiro from um, Cross Wars. I can't remember his Japanese name. I keep calling him Jeremy. It's um, you know who I'm talking about the guy with the sword. Yeah, I found it weird that I still kept up with Yu Gi Oh, and yet Digimon I did not keep up with. That that has always been weird to me. <laughs> right, I need to fucking finish um Reigns. <laughs> I'm so behind on Yu Gi Oh, man. <laughs> like Five Ds was the one that I was like, "What the fuck is this?" And I was like, "This is actually pretty good. I actually like oh. it." <laughs> oh, Five Ds is a dope ass show. And I'm actually upset because I stopped Reigns right when Soul Burner showed up, and I was like, yeah. "Oh man, this dude's cool as fuck." But I like I stopped watching, but then I just didn't pick it back up. Yeah, <laughs> I, yeah. I, I didn't hate it. I just kind of like fell off of it. Yeah. 
But Soul Burner <laughs> looks cool as fuck, y'all. I can't wait to see him. I can't wait to see more of him in action. Oh, man. But uh, you know what? Speaking of Toku-inspired, Toku in a way and stuff, uh, Blue Beetle's out. You should definitely watch it, folks. Um, I'm going this weekend. I can't wait. Why the I, fuck is everybody being a straight-up asshole? Like, what the fuck? And what? It blew me to, like, there's nothing nothing about that movie looks bad or wrong. Like, why are y'all... It's like... It, it, look, I said it best. I said it in our review. I said it's literally, like, how I felt about the first Shazam movie. I went into that movie like, wow, this is actually really fucking good. Like... And, and like I said, you could tell the director even admitted for Shazam, like they threw everything in the kitchen sink at the first Shazam movie because they didn't know if they were going to get a sequel. Right? And you can, I'm not going to say Blue Beetle's the same way because it doesn't feel like they threw everything in the kitchen sink at it, but like you could tell, like the fact, it's just the fact that they went out their way to use Ted Cord as the binding for a lot of this stuff that shocked me because I wasn't expecting all right, that. So at all. Ted Cord is actually in the movie. In a way, yes. He is. This isn't a spoiler. He's not, but it's the Ted Cordes missing angle that they're going for. You know, that kind of thing. I don't think they fully committed to the whole, because you remember that was the thing with Booster Gold in the comics where it's like, hey, I just want to travel back in time to see my friend, you know, kind of thing and stuff. So, you know, he's, he's missing. But the fact that they even recognize Ted Cord and him being Blue Beetle and all that stuff was great to me. Because I thought they were going to like just ignore that shit. And it's just, oh, it's, it's Jaime and the Blue Beetle and that's it. It's like, oh, he's actually like the binding thing for it. It's like, all right, that makes sense. And now, now Super Shocked me and said they mentioned Dan Garrett. And that would actually, actually Super Shocked They do? Me. Are you lying? Oh, I got it. I can't wait to see this movie now, bro. Uh, I can't wait to see this shit now. They, they throw his name out there and I'm like, oh. Is Dan dead? I mean, yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> they mentioned his name. I was like, God damn, y'all fucking they, somebody in that writing crew for this the Friday staff for Blue Beetle was like, hey, we're gonna do everything. <laughs> right. Like when I saw the fucking director say, like, oh yeah, a lot of the things that he does is inspired by injustice. I'm like, let's fucking go, because Blue Beetle is a beast in that game. Man, look, the weapons, everything. Primo, primo, primo. So you know. Um, did they, oh, speaking of which, did they um, announce what the next Super Sentai uh, team is? No, not yet, but I think there are some trademarks that were revealed, but I haven't clicked on it because I don't really take any stock into that until we get closer to, because King Onger is on, like, what, the 20s? They're not even that. 25, I think, 25, 26. Say, we're think. not even in the 30s yet, so we shouldn't even be hearing that much until about um, closer to the, closer to about, like, November, December, right? Yeah. Yeah, um, I am catching up with King Oger. Um, I'm digging the new power up suit. Yeah, I like I'm like, I don't, I don't hate King Oger, but like, I'm not in love with it either. I think it's just kind of fine. Um, yeah. I feel like it suffers from a hard lack of. There's actually like no real plot or story going on right now. Just vibes at this point, <laughs> right? They, they just vibes. It's just these characters interacting with each other. That's all that is. And I guess that's fine enough for me because I like the characters well enough. Especially, I like how a lot of the supporting characters are get a lot of get a lot of play. So that's kind of mm -hmm. cool. Yeah, but man. You know, Sentai a lot of the time was like known for its villains, and like <laughs> these villains, they're there. It's like, all right, they're there. It's just they're not really the big. Right. It's like I don't, I don't know whether the show isn't taking them seriously or not. It's just they exist. They're there. It's like, all right, cool. Fine. And uh, Rackles, <laughs> I feel like they're gonna, if they're gonna make him the big bad, they need to commit to it and like just have him lean into it. Cause it also feels like they're, they're one foot in, one foot out on it. Cause they're like, oh, he did this to protect Jira, possibly, maybe. I hope they don't do the shit where it's like when we get to the final 10 episodes, they finally up the ante on them. Then I'm gonna be rolling my eyes so hard if that happens. I really right. am. I'm like, come on, like, I what are we gonna... doing there? I'm not gonna fucking Itachi retcon us and it's like he was protecting you the entire time. Well, now that you said it, Prime, you know that's gonna be the thing, right? Because you know my foresight's ten ten, so fuck <laughs> my bad, y'all. Hey, Prime's batting a thousand on this shit at this stage. It's like, oh, Prime might as well go on ahead and be on Toei's pay payroll for these uh, for these shows at this stage. Yeah. yeah, cut my fucking check. Well, we'll see what happens. <laughs> Toei ain't gonna pay you. 
pay me figure art accessories, not even the actual figure art, just the tool, just the the weapons. <laughs> they, they 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 fucking copyright strike their own channel. They they don't like money. Come on now. <laughs> well, I saw that shit, man. It's like that's ten ten, the most toy shit I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Who's these sons of bitches putting out on the Super Sentai? Ah, oh, shit, that was us. Damn. Oh, damn. <laughs> my bad, dog. <laughs> wait, wait. So can I sue myself to give myself more money? Is that how that works? <laughs> Somebody getting thrown out the fucking office like Jazz and Fresh Prince for saying that shit. <laughs> it's like, no. <laughs> oh. Oh. Get the fuck out of my office, huh? <laughs> Oh, do you have high hopes though for this new guy? I guess that he's supposed to be head of, I guess, uh, I guess Toei's whole like, I guess, um, international sort of like spread for their products now. Uh, I'm gonna be honest with you, Chief. I don't. <laughs> I got. <no. laughs> I, I have a little bit of optimism. I ain't gonna lie. I'm, I'm very curious on what this could mean and stuff for you know stuff because I mean, could it be? Could could they finally hit the levels that? Supro has done with Ultraman, you know, and making it this big worldwide phenomenon. Good, maybe. It's I mean, a possibility. I that's, I mean, also, Dookie could write something good, but we you know that probably might not happen. Um, First off, you're you giving that man too much credit. I mean, to be fair, to be fair. But I mean, we'll see, we'll see, dog. I don't know. Um, I think a lot of what has hampered uh, Toei and Bandai in the past is that they don't consider global market when they move, which to be fair, they don't have to. Yeah, um, they can they wrestle on their laurels in Japan and they straight right. <laughs> they straight milking. And so they don't think about how they need to like change and adapt things when they're moving into different territories because they do the same things uh that's successful in Japan. Other again, I know I bring this up a lot and I know I sound like a fucking broken record, but one of the things that kill Bandai Visual of America. Bandai mm-hmm. Visual, not the toys, Bandai Visual, the people who put out the anime. The DVDs, Gun Gundam, and all that stuff, yeah. The one thing that killed them was that they were releasing DVDs in the same model that they did in Japan. Oh where it was one or two God. episodes of disc. Where at that stage, most Americans are used to just buying a whole series and for then one when they, flat rate. And yeah. then when they finally decided to wise up and do it, it was too late. Because I remember when they put out yeah. When they got when they got to Gundam Double O and the OG Gundam and they were putting them out on DVD, they wised up and put it 25 episodes for part one, 25 episodes for part two. The price was good. By the time they did that, Bandai America was done. And it was too, too little, it was too little too late. It's like you should have did that from jump, but you did it so late in the game that it yeah. So it, it's I mean, they're they're trying. They're gonna. They're they're apparently they're gonna try to push a lot of the Kamen Rider and Super Sentai stuff, you know, over here as the new wave stuff. Um, but it's kind of hard to assess what that's gonna mean, you know. Because I mean, only, I mean, I mean, only thing I can say is that they could do like Ultraman and just do simulcast. That that's that's one thing that can definitely pull in international viewers if you. You know, because I mean, it's something that me and you have said multiple times. It's just if you give people access to these things, they'll watch it. Mm-hmm. You know, so by virtue of making Ultraman accessible, whether it's DVDs or simulcast, people are going to be like, oh, let me check out this new Ultraman that popped up on my YouTube feed. Boom, it's right there. And that's right. something that Super Sentai and Kamen Rider could definitely benefit from, you know, especially with Power Rangers going the way of the dodo. It's just it's what it is. <laughs> yeah, damn. <laughs> At a day, these be said, these be said, <laughs> and I mean, you know, w- when we do our memorial episode, <laughs> um, <laughs> it's like be on the lookout, Cosmic Fury memorial episode. <laughs> if we ever do a memorial, I, you think I will feel sadder because it's like Power has been a big part of my life. Uh, I made a lot of good friends through this franchise. I had a lot of good yeah. experiences, yeah. but like. The the fact that I don't feel anything, the fact that I, if anything, I feel relief <laughs> that the brand is dead. That should, that's that should tell you about the state of how things have been going for the it's past like like old, five years. It's like old yellow, <laughs> right? Like I'm sitting here watching watching my good friend in a hospice just slowly waste away. 
<laughs> Every once in a while, they get a little pep in this step, and you're like, oh, maybe they turn the corner, and then, ah, uh, yeah, they, 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 right, they regress right back, and like, damn, I thought we were, I thought we were finna be leap, got finna get out of here, but nah, man, nah, 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 man, it's, it's, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and you know what? Yeah, yeah. That's that's and that's that's why it's like I think a lot of us are having optimism that you know they can definitely do it. And like, look, Team Common Rider tried their best, and I don't know whether it was just Toei's interference in that that kind of hampered them. I wouldn't say it was their interference. Here's the thing with Toei, I would feel it's, it was their apathy because Toei did not care. Like I I keep saying this, and people don't fucking believe me. Toei does not. They don't. They don't give a shit, y'all. Like. Camera Rider could be successful in America and cannot be. They don't care because they still are going to eat. They still got money coming. Because <laughs> the money's coming money. in Japan, Japan, and Brazil, like, and everybody else. They're like, oh, whatever. We don't care. And like, it, it could be, but it could not be. Like, we don't, we don't give a shit. <laughs> like, we're, we're, Dragon, we're fine. Dragon Knight got a fucking Emmy, and Toy was like, shrug. Like, that's right. That's they're cool. like, cool, yes. I guess. <laughs> that's nice. What does that do for my brand? Nothing. Are you, All right. Are y'all, are y'all still going to buy the belts? You are? Then why do I give a fuck? Four hundred dollars CMS CSM belts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you still hitting up the um the hobby sites, getting your your uh figure arts and your vinyls? Okay, then who gives cool. a shit? I'm, all right, dope. <laughs> Emmy, great. <laughs> Is your company gonna actually do more Common Rider in America? No, no. Get the fuck out of my face. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Which hey, look from Tony's point of view, I get it because it's like that's cool. You got an Emmy. Are you gonna do more adaptations? Nah. Are you? Oh, are you dude. realize you realize this shit is hard. It costs money. Oh, you realize it sucks. Yeah, yeah, it does. Tough shit. Uh, <laughs> oh man, run me my uh, licensing fee. Is, you know what's ironic? I talk cash shit about Netflix, right? I, I talk mad shit because Netflix really kind of fucked it up with streaming and just yeah, Netflix is doo doo. You are yeah, they are they, they are doo doo. I, I still to this day, despite me liking Voltron that show, I just hated the way that they really massacred those those later seasons. The way they split it up and shit that that will forever. I mean, that me. one season that they just decided to cut up, cut up into like three seasons, and I'm like, why? <laughs> For what? That's why. That confounded me so much because you could tell. Because even when I was interviewing the writers, you could tell they were really frustrated with Netflix on that bullshit because they were like. The fuck, man? Like, are you kidding me? Like, really? <laughs> so now they gotta explain Netflix stupidity in splitting up their seasons for why the writing got wonky and shit. It's like, yeah. So I, I was sitting up there like, Netflix could technically back a comic writer show, but then that means the comic writer show would get split into like two seasons, <laughs> even though it should be one, and then I'm gonna be very disappointed. So yeah. Yeah, you got, got a super chat, my guy. You got to read that one out. Uh, what's the super chat? Toei is as allergic to global expansion as Pookie is allergic to. You? <laughs> Where is he lying, though? Where is he lying? Yeah, like, Where's the yeah, lie? Like, yeah. that's, the, that's the realest shit I've seen all day. You. That's a fact. <laughs> he ain't lying up that <laughs> Hey, look, Brian, you are not the only soul viewer of Dragon Knight. I, I watched all of Dragon Knight, including those last three episodes on Seed. Ugh. Like, just that. That's when you knew CW was like, yeah, fuck Kamen Rider. We don't give a shit about Saturday morning cartoons and shows anymore. I was like, really? Like, y'all just. All right. But I was watching the WWE Saturday morning. <laughs> <laughs> Access. <laughs> fuck you. We don't care. Oh. Watch these last three episodes of Dragon Knight on CW Seed. <laughs> <laughs> in 480, 480p quantity. <laughs> Can the box expand? No. no. <laughs> Why, you were, oh. Dude, CWC was the stupidest shit ever. I swear to fucking God. That was so dumb. That's when I was like, yo, CW really just said my fuck God. your comic writer. God. My God, you just unlocked a race memory because I can I can fucking see the banner in my mind now. <laughs> <laughs> Wanna watch Vixen? You better get CWC. You <laughs> wanna see the Winx Club? <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I kind of want to see Wings Club on Blu-ray a little bit. <laughs> I mean, I'd buy that shit and watch it in my home theater. 
Stream it to my home theater. And yeah, stream it to my home theater. The fuck is it? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what the fuck is it? <laughs> What's hey, it to a goblin? <laughs> hey, look, look. All I'm saying is, Blake, we ain't missing anything. The Pookie slander is probably shit that we already see. I'm already in some fucking. I think there's there's like a Toku. Uh, it was a Toku. Um, Hold on. Hold on. There's Pookie slander, and I'm not involved. Oh damn! Probably about to scour X. <laughs> oh, I am, I am hurt. Hold on. <laughs> not being tagged in this shit. See, I was trying to avoid saying his name. Now, all of a sudden, like two days later, Pookie's gonna like comment in the in the in the, in the YouTube comments. Like, <laughs> okay, then like, if he does, he got a question. If he does, he got a question. How come it seems like all the people he has a problem with are black and brown? Have you noticed that? See, Prime, I wasn't going to make it about race, but you're right. How come the people he seems to have the, the largest problem with all happen to look like me and you? Yeah, He'd be, he be, he, he be passive aggressive about that shit, too. Right. What's, what's, what's really going on? My I mean, even, hey, look, I keep a game with some of the people that be getting really passive aggressive to black folks in Toku spaces and stuff with the conversations. Mm-hmm. Stuff. Right. I'll be like, I'll be, I'll be clocking it a little bit, like, mm. like, hmm, <laughs> right, like, was it one of my one of my new mutuals? They're like, when they be like privately quote tweeting us, they be like, you know, they be calling us porch monkeys and shit, right? You know what they be <laughs> <laughs> quoting us on private? That's what they be doing. <laughs> Pookie sitting there like, you count this money, like, fuck these monkeys, fuck, <laughs> fuck these goddamn jigaboos. <laughs> <laughs> They'll watch it. Genius. They always watch it. <laughs> no. I have two black friends and they're on the Power Rangers. <laughs> <laughs> never mind the fact. Never mind the fact that shit he came out with talking about some, oh, we were so committed to diversity. Uh, you look at this Wilder's room, that's a goddamn Wonder Bread factory. <laughs> and the one time, the one time they took a picture of them also happened to be the one time the one black and gay person wasn't in the room. Funny how that works out, ain't it? Well, they're black and gay because you know you have to combine both efforts. You can't you have two get, separate get, people. Gotta get you gotta gotta prioritize, man. You gotta get, get two in one combo. Gotta <laughs> look. I'm not even trying. I'm not even trying to be conspiracy theory about progressiveness. I'm all for it. Hey, get in space how you get in your space, but it's like, but, bro, you can't, however, you, you however. can't parade that shit and be like kudos. I'm like, come on, man, don't do that. However, don't do however. that. <laughs> We see what you're doing, and it's fucking hilarious. <laughs> like, I was talking to some folks the other day, like, do you feel like an asshole? Because, like, we're not saying anything. We're not making up anything. We're just pointing out what they're doing. Yeah, it's just like, it's like, look, there, I think there's there's different, I think people need to understand this. Like, as Power Ranger fans, there's different, and it's like that with any fandom. It ain't just Power Rangers. There's different levels of fandom. For us, we're just fans, and it's like, look, if the shit's mid, we'll watch it. We'll take it in for what it is. It is. Fine, but we right? gonna, we gonna get our jokes off. We gonna get our yeah, we gonna get our jokes off. Fine. Then you got the upper tier folks that go out their way with the critique to where they fucking shit on the actors, which I always fucking hated because it's like it's not the actors' fault that they were saddled with this material here. I'm gonna say and check check my fucking feed, CJ. When have I ever said anything bad about anybody, like an actor or anyone on the production side of the uh, like the physically like building the sets and shit? When have yeah. I said anything bad about okay. that? I fucking praised Vic and Morty. You remember that? Remember that? Yeah, I said that shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, look, it's like when you remember when Megaforce came out, right? Like we all had our grievances with Megaforce and Super Megaforce, right? But like at no point in time, but at no point in time did we, did we, did, at no point in time did we ever shit on the actors because it's like, look, at the end of the day, they were saddled with a script and they made the best of what doing they their job. It. Even even fucking Wooden Ass Troy, there were like moments where an actual character shone through, and it's because of the actor doing his damnedest fighting the writing to get it out. <laughs> did we joke at the line delivery? Sure. Yes. Oh yes, we did. We have to. You can't. You can't help. Do you see the tears coming down my eyes? Okay. No, yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm just saying. We laughed, but I was like, all right, cool. It is what it is. You know. It's like at the end of the day. They go to Morphicon, they go to these conventions, they got people that want to get autographs because it's like, look, they, and they, I they feel so bad because they are so charming and charismatic. And I'm like, wow, none of that came through to your character. None of it. You seem to be a genuinely amazing human being. Your character look, was dog shit. Look, even the 2017 movie, all those actors were champs. We loved them. They all went on to better pastures in their careers. Love the top to bottom. And they work with what they were saddled with in that movie. That's what it is. 
Yo, and Brian's right. We roasted the afternoon wild for us. In the day, I see them at Power Morphicon. I'm dapping them up like, yo, give me an autograph. Let's go. Like, that's what I'm saying. But like, we're we're not. We don't. We don't have any hostility. Like, like I said, we get our jokes and our criticisms off, but we're not fucking mad. We're not. There's no malice in anything. Yeah, there's no malice, you know. And, that, and that's unless, where we're. Unless I'm talking about our favorite home theater enthusiast, <laughs> because <laughs> fuck that guy. You know, he is. He is. To be honest, he's the only person in the history of this franchise that was a writer that just that went out of his way to incur right. the wrath of people. And my thing about it is he's, he's acting like he wrote Forever Red. You didn't write Forever Red, bitch. Fuck in my face. <laughs> That's the case I wrote Forever Red. Shit. <laughs> He running around acting like motherfucker running around acting like you wrote fucking Greenwood Evil. You didn't write Greenwood Evil, bitch. Get the fuck out of my face. <laughs> you, didn't, you didn't write reinforcements from the future. If you don't get the fuck out of my feed with that fucking ego, you can't wrote fucking Stuart, wrote Stuart little quality power range episodes thinking he fucking king dingling. You fucking for real right now, bro? You fucking serious? Hey man, look at it. Yeah, that that <laughs> So, so we're supposed to kiss your boots because you skimmed the first three pages on the fucking Wikipedia. <laughs> oh man, you know what's funny? So on the comic side, I found out that they're going to collect all those um, those uh, Boom Comics uh, side stories, like the um, uh, the old man Tommy and the, the 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 Time Force stuff and all that into a collective uh, omnibus. Uh, because thing. of course, because they have to double dip. They have to double. Let's put. Of course they would. Of course. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, even though I kind of, even though Old Man Tommy's probably the only one I really liked, to be honest. And even then, that was just kind of eh. <laughs> <laughs> JDF, the power of JDF compelled me in that. Well, I mean, thing, so. you ain't never lied. You, you, you <laughs> look, look, Prime was the one that said Old Man Tommy, and I was like, you know what? Right. <laughs> I mean, what? Well, where was I wrong? Was I wrong? We read the book and what happened? Like an hey, no, it was like, no, it was when they put the cover out. They didn't even say what the story was. You put the cover out and Prime was the first one. It was like, yeah, old man Tommy. I was like, I laughed so hard. I was like, God damn it. It is old man Tommy. It, it is. It's 1000%. And I'm upset. <laughs> and I need to shit my ass up. Because when they showed this shit, what did I do? I fucking proceeded to predict how the book would fucking go off of one piece of fucking cover art. I mean, you predicted his son was going to take over the role of the Green Ranger, but we didn't predict him having being green SPD with the shield, which ended up itself stupid as shit. I didn't predict that, but I did predict the passing of the Morpher. I did predict how the Master Morpher would be used in that fucking comic book. Mm -hmm. My foresight yeah. too strong, bro. I need to. I need to stop. I need to use these power ups for good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, you know. But yeah, anything after Old Man Tommy, I. I, I took one for the team for all the remaining ones, including the Time Force one, which that was just their way of just giving us fucking Time Force Black. Thanks, what, I what guess. <laughs> sure, like you know. So that which so get an action figure before the Quantum Ranger? Thanks. Shockingly enough, uh, Hasbro didn't do a Time Force Black. I'm shocked. I'm shocked. Went for San Diego Comic Con. Yo, 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 yo! Mad Chocolate ain't lying. He wrote Ninja Steel. God damn Ninja Steel. I'm like, yeah. You, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. God bless those actors and them working with that material. God bless them. It's infuriating. What, you know what? You're right. This motherfucker's walking around like he wrote in space, but you wrote Ninja Steel. <laughs> You walking which, around, which only got my memory. Which, to be honest, the only thing I remember of Ninja Steel is literally the team up with Tommy and the Master Morpher. That that speaks volumes on that. Right, season. I I remember that, and I remember this one episode that had. Well, like, also the other two Grand Rangers because his father came back. I remember that, and I remember the one episode that had like a nugget of a good episode in it. It was like the chick he was dating the chick, and she was trying to change him. And like the message of it was like. Mm -hmm. Don't change who you are to be with somebody. Like, yeah, it was a good message, but because it was Ninja Steel, it was handled really. <laughs> it's like two steps forward, eight steps back. It's like right, like the way they went about it was like dog shit, but it had a good intent behind it. Shrug ninety nine. We were this close to greatness, Prime. This close, this close. You know, 
But that look, it, that, that's why I would say it just still will go down as like the not. There, there are weak seasons of Power Rangers. I still remember the fact that I can remember all of Operation Overdrive speaks more volumes than Ninja Steel. I remember everything from Samurai. Well, to be fair, Samurai was just Shinkanger in a bad coat of paint. So <laughs> Shinkanger light, <laughs> right? Shinkanger <Yeah>. diet. <laughs> Great value, Shinkanger. The abridged Shink Anger. It know. really was. <laughs> yeah, Ninja Steel, like, the fact that Ninja Steel is the weakest out of Neil Spawn speaks very much a lot of volumes in the grand scheme of things. It's like it's like that season. They just said, fuck it. We don't care anymore. Which is probably why everybody loves Beast Morphers more, because it's like, well, Beast Morphers at least was competently written. What is that? In comparison, boy, if, if you put Ninja Steel up with like the top tier power, and like it wouldn't even compare. It wouldn't even be in the same fucking discussion. It would dude, not. Dude, dude, dude. MMPR season three, as jank as that was, still beats out Ninja Steel. Bro, as much as motherfuckers want to talk, sh- pretend like, as much as motherfuckers want to pretend now that they liked it. Back in the day, um, motherfuckers mad hated Light Speed Rescue. But really? Light Speed Re- they yeah. did? Motherfuckers I hated Light Speed Rescue. Wow, now, I didn't know that. that. Now they pretend they didn't, though. But let me tell you I didn't know they hated Lightspeed Rescue. Maybe I just wasn't around people on the message boards that were hating on it. I didn't know that. That's, but that's Lightspeed shocking. Rescue moonwalks all over b <laughs> I mean, come on, Prime. Like. Moonwalks on it, tea bags it, then fucking pees on its corpse. Beast, you know what? Beast, I, I, I didn't say it in the Beast Morphs episode. Beast Morphers had the same issue that Dino Charge did where the premise and everything was good, but it just leapt to the finish line. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, black and black and black and whitewashed Shink Anger. <laughs> whitewashed Sentai Shink Anger. You right. Uh, yeah, look. I mean, look. J- J- now, J- James is supposed to be half half Japanese, half white. I'm like, no, I don't see they're how all, They're all supposed to be descended from Japanese people. All of them. Like, like two or three of them I can I can see, but you know, the other two, not so much. Like, there must have been a lot of mixing going on to get to you, bro. <laughs> you know, the Blue Ranger I can see, you know, he mixed, he, he light skinned it, so there's a little mixed race aspect going on there. I can see, you know, obviously pink for sure. Yellow, mm, not wait, seeing it. Wait, wasn't wasn't the, the pink ranger that wasn't wasn't she Korean? Yeah, she was yeah, she was Korean. <laughs> Yeah, that, that makes it even worse. Holy shit. <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna say why. Don't you can use Google, y'all. We're not gonna say why that's fucked up, but use Google. Use Google. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was yeah, three and three out of six ranges. It's like, well, seven if you count old girl, you know, Jane Jane's sister. Um, but it's like they're supposed to be descended from Japanese. You mean Where? the Folgers, the Folger siblings? <laughs> The best part of waking <laughs> is Jane and then you're coming. <laughs> Look. <laughs> you know, Blake, you might be right, because like I know I'm not nuts, because I was I was there on the fucking message boards and shit when light speed. Motherfuckers hated light speed. They were just I don't remember. I remember people no, hating no. Wild Force. I remember Wild Force yeah, catching a lot of heat. That. Yeah, Wild Force called Lightspeed, but man, Lightspeed Rescue called just as much. And I think it because it's coming after like Lost Galaxy, because Lost Galaxy was beloved. Like, yeah, that was the, people, the footnote to the Zordon era. It was like the right, post the people, post to it. The, the epilogue. Of the Zordon epilogue. Era. Yeah, the epilogue. People love Lost Galaxy. Lightspeed, I was just like, yo, you finally did a military Power Rangers. I was, I was eating that shit up. I was like, you, you realized the dream that I was actually thinking of. Thank, thank you, show. <laughs> nah, they hate it, man. They hated that shit, man. Man, see, that tells you how much I was really in tune with the message boards that I didn't even see it. Like, I heard some people complaining, but I don't remember it really being that big. But wow, nah, that's actually interesting. Very they'll, interesting. They'll they'll pretend now that they didn't, but. I was there on alt, alt fan Power Rangers. I see you. <laughs> I was. There, I, I remember. I, I'm still waiting for the revisionist history on um, Operation Overdrive. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. If I don't think we're gonna live that long, CJ, we're not. We're not gonna be around. <laughs> <that long. laughs> I'm waiting for somebody to be like. I mean, Operation Overdrive wasn't that bad. Are you sure? Are you sure? 
Are you sure? Now, I, I've seen recently in recent months, people have come around a little more on Jungle Fury. Like, Jungle Fury wasn't hated. I love Jungle, Jungle Fury. Fury. Like, I, it, I, it, I like Jungle Fury a lot. But people are like, they weren't vibing with it for whatever reason. But like now I know there's a lot of people going like, man, you know, Jungle Fury wasn't that bad. I'm like, yeah, because look, we got in comparison. <laughs> look, when, they did, when they did the math, when they did the yeah. look, look, Jungle Fury went up 10 notches in my book when they had the Master Rangers, the original ones, and it looked dope as shit. I was like, oh, 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 okay. And that, shit. that original fight they did with Jared and uh, the Red Ranger <laughs> in the dojo, that shit was dope. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they were. It, it wasn't Gekki Ranger, but did it have to be? No, it fucking worked. Like, goddamn. <laughs> so right. yeah, yeah, I, you know, yeah. I mean, look, the fact that yeah, the fact there is revisionist history on Samurai is hilarious because again, I didn't hate Samurai. I was like, eh, it's, it's, it's a decent opening to Saban coming back. Cool, fine, that's great. <laughs> right. I, I want to know. You know what? I'm curious though. Are they ever going to do DVDs of those Neo Spawn seasons? I know they did it for Samurai. I know Samurai got it, but I forgot who did the distribution for it. But after it that, Lion's it gets funny. It? it might have been Lionsgate. Wasn't it? So I know, I know, I know. Megaforce and Samurai got DVDs, but after that, it gets muddy. Donald Charge did up to Super Donald Charge, I believe. Oh really? Yeah. Then that's when it stopped. Wow. Wow, I was waiting for Shout Factory to pick it up, but they were just like, nah, RPM is where we stop. And I'm like, well, I guess that's where I stopped too. <laughs> so, you know, yeah, this was, <laughs> I feel we are on a roll of making these episodes fun as hell. <laughs> I mean, this is very cathartic. I appreciate that. Like, I got a lot of things off my chest. Um, Look, after I heard that guy tell me that at San Diego, I was like, oh my God, I need to tell Prime. And Prime laughed when I told him, like, I can't believe that. I can't believe it. I'm not shocked. I <laughs> oh man, Haslab. God damn it. Um so I know last time we said we were going to do Ultraman. Which one were we doing though? I don't remember. Was it have we done Dinah? Or were we going to do we did, we did return we did return of Ultraman. Yeah, we did return to Ultraman. No, no, I think we said we were gonna do we were gonna we were either gonna do another Ultraman or Oh, it was gonna be I said wait, because it's like, hold on, hold on. Let me think, let me think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to remember because I was like was hold it up. 80? Because I was like, give me a reason to watch the DVD on my on my uh nightstand right now. It might be. Was it 80? Or was it um, Tiger? Tiga. No, no, no. no we, did. We, did, we, did, we did Tiga. It was we did um, Tiga. I was like, because have we done Dino? Was it, was, it, was, it, was it Dino? It was either Dino or Orb. It was one of them. Because we were going to do, because we need to do the. the we need yeah, to yeah. So we, no, we, yeah, we did, yeah, we did Dino. We did, yeah, we did Dino. So it must be Gaia. We got to do Gaia. We got to do Gaia. Yeah, Gaia, yeah, Gaia was the one. That, yeah, Gaia was the one. He was like, yeah, we need to do Gaia. And I was like, yeah. So. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, so keep, us, keep us right. Keep us right. It's an Ultimate, Ultimate Guy we're definitely going to do next, um, for sure. I kind of want to do, after that, the Super Sentai, uh, the, the newest one that uh, that came out uh, on DVD. Um, Damn, uh, which, which one? Because we spoiled for Richards. Uh, before Live Man. Not Live Man, um, Jet Man, uh, the, that one. Fuck. Um, five Man? Huh? Five Man? Yeah, Five Man. We should do Five Man after that. Okay, we'll do Five Man. I need a reason to watch Five Man. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I'll fuck for, for sure. Because uh, after I did that panel at uh, BlurCon, where we were talking about 30 Years of Power Rangers, and I showed everybody that <laughs> image from Mega Force, where they just purposely did all the other, old, like they did Five Man and Live Man suits <laughs> with, the, with the Red Ranger. Everybody was like, who are those other Rangers? And me and... Um, uh, what's the face? We were we were pretty much telling everybody that yeah, this was the most random shit in Mega Force period. Bargain like somebody in that writers' room purposely was just like yeah, just throw in those suits just because. Yeah, nothing nothing matters. It's nothing nothing matters, and yet that's still better written than uh, anything Poopy has done. So, I mean, easily, <laughs> easily. 
So yeah, Ultraman Gaia, definitely. Um, but yeah, yo, we hit Nexus. I've heard great things about Nexus. Yes, I cannot wait to start. And I actually that have that on DVD on my shelf. So the, the my Ultraman collection is growing very good. Do I, do I need do I need a dick swing and post mine online? I feel you probably end up beating me out because I mean, you know, for sure. I mean the, the shelf the shelf with all the Super Sentai DVDs had my cousins envious, like, what is this? And I'm like, oh, this is all the Super Sentai stuff. And they were like, oh my God, I need to watch this. And I'm like, well, if you want to borrow it, go for it. <laughs> but don't leave my house though, right? <laughs> In the room, right there. <laughs> you can sit right there and watch it. Just to sit right there. <laughs> Otherwise, go to shopfactorytv.com and watch it on there if you want to. So. Also available on Tubi and Pluto TV. <laughs> yes. <laughs> By the way, have you been watching the Godzilla channel? That's my favorite thing to do now. Bro, man, look, Tubi, you know, it, it is wild to me that Tubi has turned to not just the, 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 the app for watching horrible ass urban movies. Well, I say urban like I'm a white person. Black movies. The, 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 Tubi, the Tubi Cinematic Universe. In the Tubi Cinematic Universe, where with all these jank to actually decent black movies, it's definitely worthy of watching. And I'm glad that I'm glad that that's working out for us as a as a as a culture, as a group of people. We're 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 like saying, fuck you, Hollywood, we can make our own movies to varying degrees of quality. And I'm fine with that. But then also, oh shit, they got the rights to Godzilla? Shit, I guess I'll watch some Godzilla on, the, on Tubi now. It's great. That channel, that channel is the best thing to fall asleep to or put on in the background while you're doing something else. It's amazing. <laughs> Do, Tubi have a power, doesn't Tubi have a Power Rangers channel too? They do. I think I also have a Yu-Gi-Oh channel. But like, do you Don't know Don't say how... that prime now. I have to watch Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> Bro, do you know what Kid Me would have done to have a fucking 24-hour dedicated Godzilla TV channel, bro? Nigga, back in the day we had TNT. That was the only channel doing. That was the dedicated Godzilla channel. My guy. My guy. We, we, these kids We've come have so far. Aged. You don't even know. Yo, yo, he ain't lying. It is the new WBUPN. He is not fucking lying. I, look, all I'm saying is I need white folks to just not pay attention so it doesn't get co-opted. Right. That's what I'm saying. Because <laughs> as soon as they find out about shit, that's when shit get fucked up. Get co-opted and, oh, man, Tubi has to shutter his doors. And I'm like, fuck you. Right. <laughs> we had it. <laughs> right. So, yeah, uh, Ultraman Gaia will be next. And uh, hopefully <laughs> there won't be any stupid ass news between now and when we do Gaia. So there will I'm, be. There I, I would, is. I, I'm definitely gonna jump on watching Gaia ASAP. So uh so that doesn't happen. <laughs> right. You know what man? Okay. I was gonna say this right now. For us to do Yu-Gi-Oh it's gonna be a thing of really asking ourselves how do we do it? Do we go it chronologically and chronological actually do it? Oh, so, 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 so pre cards, we gotta talk about the savageness that is Yami Yugi. We gotta, we gotta talk about the original show. We gotta talk about the first one. Yes. So we gotta talk about savage, savage Yami before we get to the cards and him and Kaiba going back and forth every time. Before he, before he mellowed the fuck out. You know, reading the manga, <laughs> I was really upset with this because, like, when you read the first couple of chapters, right? Yeah. Like Yami is a savage. Like <laughs> Yami. Is a oh savage. yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, the one, the one that the savage was literally the guy that was that held up the diner and shit. Yes, and he, with the lighter. Yes, yes. Was, man. <laughs> Forever. Or the, or the fucking uh rooftop death maze. Like, come on, bro. <laughs> that man was the goddamn Punisher in Japan. <laughs> like, come on, dog. <laughs> like, Frank, chill. All right. <laughs> But like Yami, yeah, he just stole a bag of chips, man. Calm down. It's like don't matter. <laughs> I'm like he's, he's fucking jigsaw. Anyway, he's fucking savage. <laughs> but then it comes that gap. Yeah, he really was jig- Yo, he really was jigsaw before jigsaw, wasn't he? <laughs> right. Then comes that goddamn card game, and all of a sudden he all mellowed and shit. Like man, fuck y'all. Well, you know he had a he had to show Kaiba a thing or two with his little bit of savageness, though. Just a little right. Bit. But he's like, if you if you attack me, the 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 force will knock me off the roof. Okay. All right, sure. Look, man, look. Sure. Oh, this is why it, when, when they dual kingdom when fucking Kaiba called his bluff, I was like, yo, Yami was gonna be like, yo, fuck you, Kaiba. Time to kill. Let's go. <laughs> right, right. After that shit. After that shit. Oh no, 
human uh, life has meaning. No, Yami, go back to how you were. <laughs> Kaiba did not give a fuck, dude. You need to be savage too. Fuck Kaiba. He'll survive. He got money. He got money. <laughs> He has an inflatable jacket. It'll be fine. <laughs> the man that you really need to go after has a fucking eye <laughs> and is cheating. That's the guy you want. <laughs> right. Nah, we got to save the dickhole with a, with a company. Because uh, I'm weird. telling you, I'm telling you, early chapter Yami, the second that Weevil threw the Exodia cars off that boat, early chapter Yami would have immediately transformed and like put that motherfucker in like a fucking... Uh, oh, you put him in the blender immediately. <laughs> He would have done some like some twisted like Freddy Krueger ass. He's gonna be. He would have had that dude. He would, have, he would have had that dude drooling out of his mouth with a straitjacket after everything he said. What, bro? That's why I'm like, come on, dog. Nah, come on, dog. Nah, my man throws some cards off and gets no retribution other than oh, he gets, he gets, he gets, uh, he gets controlled by the Illuminati in Dual in, in Dual City. The fans right. Illuminati. Fancy. <laughs> you know what, man? My eyes were glued to the TV. I ain't gonna lie. That shit had me engaged. So thank you. Thank you, Yu Gi Oh! You, you saved one black man from the streets. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't even get my fucking joke out. God damn it. <laughs> But yeah, if we do you, you know, I have to sell the guys on the original one and we can go through it. Because I definitely, yeah, we definitely need you on that show for sure. Like that, that has to be a thing. I, I think we can, I think we can sell people on Yu-Gi-Oh! 3BG doing Yu-Gi-Oh! For sure. Like that, that has to happen for sure. Because that, mm. The meat demands. <laughs> the, the people demand it for sure. So yeah, um. And also, yeah, we need to get back to more from Manicast commentaries. Because uh, I think but last one we did was uh, we got copyright striked by fucking Hasbro. Why? Because we made the show watchable? Well, Netflix and Hasbro came after us for our once and always commentary. You know Why? Because so. we made it entertaining? Is that, is that the fucking problem? Yeah, I think it was. They 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 do not like entertainment. <laughs> so, yeah. and we learned and we learned the lesson that uh, we can do commentaries on Twitch instead of YouTube. So thank you, thank you, Twitch, for allowing us. Look, we did a lot of commentaries on Ultraman movies, and a lot of people loved it. So I'm I'm, I'm actually yeah I'm I'm actually loving how loose uh, Twitch is on that kind of stuff. Dope, dope. Well, maybe before we do Gaia, maybe we should do that um, Dinah Tiga movie team up. <laughs> That's a good idea, bro. I mean, I'm just full of them sometimes. I feel I feel we should do that soon. That can happen soon, folks. That can happen I soon, will, folks. I will co-sign that. I will co-sign that. Could car we could carve out a time next Thursday or Friday or so we'll do that. For sure. Let me consult with the schedule, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever yeah. your schedule's going, I don't want to, you know, like if you got something going on, cool. I, I get it, totally understand. I'm just, I was thinking about that. I was like, that, that makes perfect sense. Yeah, we can do that shit. We can, we can work something out now. Yeah. No, nah, you know what though, Blake? I will say this: it's like four kids to their credit. I didn't mind their Yu Gi Oh dub. I didn't mind it, but I get how some people might feel about some of the characterizations. You know, stuff, especially like, you know, Bandy Keith. I kind of wish that we got the OG with the gun. Because <laughs> some card games are serious business, bro. My man had a gun pointed at that fool, like, yo, this is some bullshit. <laughs> I'm like, bro, you cheated. What did you think was going to happen here? Come on. You know, but hey, America. That's how it is. But uh, yeah, that is it for. Uh, more from Medicast. This has been great. And next time you see us, it's either going to probably, it'll probably be live commentary. We'll see how the schedules work out on that. And then uh, we can kind of go from there. So, uh, yeah, be sure. Actually, hold on real quick. Because uh, we actually had gotten a comment on one of the episodes that we did. Oh, well, uh, let's go. It was a show. Okay, so if you guys, Shin Kamen Rider is now on Amazon Prime. If you get a chance to watch it, I've been digging a lot of people that have been watching it, and uh, one of my friends, Charlie, he hit me up. Funny enough, he had the same complaints that we had because I told him about the whole fight in the dark and all this stuff. He's like, yeah, dude, I was wondering what was going on. I was like, yeah, that, that was 
weird. Um, so uh, Joe R. 70, he said, I love the mountain and industrial locations that matched the original show uh, at the time. Uh, we're showcasing trendy Shinjuku. I also love the 1970s hair and costumes, despite the fact that it wasn't a period film. Yeah. Uh, I like the series actor who played Hongo, although I literally Googled him for illness because he is visibly shaking in every scene, as you mentioned. Uh, Kamen Rider the first and next are the best tokusatsu redesigns I've ever seen, and they informed this movie's designs, too. However, who thought just chucking a black overcoat over a pretty faithful OG Ichigo would look so badass? True. Again, I'll give Ano that. That, that shit was peak. Yeah. I mean, you know, when he's doing this on the bike, I was like, okay. Yeah, you got I, and I just, I just got the figure, and it comes with the jacket. <sighs> yeah. Um, I'm frustrated to respond to Shin Kamen Rider because Shin Godzilla redefined Godzilla for me, and I'm old. <laughs> Shin Godzilla is excellent except for one actress. However, I did miss getting to see Shin Ultraman, which I really wanted to. I still haven't seen it online either. So I can't compare all three Shin films, but Shin Kamen Rider, which starts out so exhilarating in the first few minutes, is completely bogged down by the end. Yes. Yeah. Um, your live action Gotcha Man comparison is perfect because both seem so promising at the start but end with lots of honor and drama on cheap green screen set by the end. I'm still a fan of this movie, but yes, I know needs an anchor and an equally enthusiastic and talented collaborator who covers a different aspect of Final Story. How do you best steer the Wes Anderson of Tokusatsu? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that says it all, really. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, somebody else said, as someone who knows nothing of Kamen Rider, this movie was pretty good. It answered the age-old question of what would happen if an average person fought a Power Ranger. Answer, the person would become an art. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I just had to throw that out there. I saw that and I was like, okay, we I gotta yeah, because we, we get we get some comments on a lot of stuff and I was like, I gotta I gotta like really jump on uh you know throwing that out there and stuff because people people do watch and people do listen and stuff and you know hey appreciate we, 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 we appreciate everybody that 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 actually watches our stuff because you know because you hey, don't have to <laughs> really don't <laughs> you really don't we're we're just two shit snacks you don't gotta hear anything we have to say. Yeah, but no, I like look. I, that's why I feel for me at the end of the day when, when it comes to all the stuff with Power Rangers. At the end of the day, we're all fans, and whether new or old, if people enjoy it, they enjoy it. You know, even though I might side out some folks that be saying some questionable stuff, they're fans all the same. It's just you know, hey, you, you take the good and the bad, you take it all, and you just right. appreciate it for what it is. Just know your worth to know that you don't have to fucking bootlick for a person who hates their goddamn job. No, you don't have to. And who has an aggressive deal on all. Just, just because they make a show that you like doesn't mean you have to stomach um, assholing, is all I'm saying. Look, you just heard us. We did not hold water for Bandai at all. Everybody thinks, oh, you're just getting on hands, but bro, we do not hold water for Bandai. We make our complaints about everybody. <laughs> I'm going to say, um, criticisms are valid for everyone. They can all get it equally. I yeah, they all they all get it equally, you know. Even like because it, it's there's no. I mean, I don't want to say lesser of two evils here. It's just everybody does. Every company, even your favorite company. Look, I like Disney. They do fucked up shit too, which is why I was oh, like, Disney's yo, Disney's a patently evil organization. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like you know, Disney's evil, WB's evil. All these companies got some bullshit with them. Right, right. They don't care about you. I don't care how much you like what they make. They do not give a fuck you about see you. That? Look, these streaming, these streaming companies don't care. They're already up in the price on streaming. So that should tell you right there. They're already bleeding you dry. The only thing they care about is how, how far can they stick their hands down your pocket to get your fucking money. So yeah, yeah, at the end of the day, just, just take what it is. And hey, you know, you, 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 you basically speak, your, speak volumes with your money. And how you watch it because those companies definitely do see when their money when their money drops they're like oh shit we fucked up um shit maybe we need to do better with no shit right <laughs> what, who, who would have thought you give us a good product you get money what a thank you idea. what a, what an idea <laughs> but yeah uh yeah so that is it uh definitely this will be dropped in um yeah we will catch you guys later. Peace. Avida Zen, dudes.
boy is Benny Hanna.